Whoa, this is way deeper than I thought. It feels like I'm being watched. This is ironic because we're streaming, so technically they are. Hi. Blink, motherfucker. Is it getting bigger in the sky? Unwedged and fly out of that. <laughs> Do you want to speak to them? I'll just put the radio on the static and you'll get the same experience. That's probably nothing, right? Just them shooting fireballs. Or a laser. Even the water here is hazardous because of course it is. <laughs> I don't want to die. That's going to be so embarrassing. Ow. Don't zap me. Ow. <laughs> Sounds like she's having fun. Real skater girls use jump pads. Skating around at the speed of sound. This place is so big and pretty. Whee! I want to find out more about this Ultra Void. We went in here, we're supposed to be finding some elders, or whatever. These elders, who are supposed to know everything. Well, bullshit. This is not going to stay here for that long. Oh, it did. Huh. Oh, I need blue ones as well. Did. Oh yeah, I can find this stuff. I'm supposed to be able to find them in here. Maybe down there. Which means I need one, two, three to... Oh, there's red and green ones. Being colorblind is gonna suck. Just a little. Oh? There's a dude in here? Alright. Ah. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I was supposed to use the grapple thing, and I didn't do that. Let's try and kill this thing while we're here. Got it. Where's the next one? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't know where it was. Right, we got this, we got this. Pop. This one. And stabby stabby. Remove their corruption. I assume it's corruption. Do you wear the corruption? Yeah. Poem written by Eric. When as in strands my celia grows, then when as then my spores how sweetly flow that liquefaction of thy molds. Uh-huh. Really fascinating. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. I have no idea how long it stays around, but I'm being quick as I can, just in case. Pop, pop. You open that door. Oh, I need to do it again to open the other one. The other one? No, the other one has a red one. Never mind. Let's see if we've missed anything up here first. Why are the mushrooms being platformable? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. There's crystals up there. It has to be got. There has to be a way. Later. Questions for later. I'll go this way. What is this? Little plaques? Are they books? Ow, what the heck? What are you? Woo! You have a little bit more health than the other guys. They're starting to ramp up in difficulty. Hell yeah! Oh, here's the red one. I'm supposed to go all the way around to... Can I make it all the way around? I don't know how... May as well try. I don't know how much time I have. Gotta be quick! Oops. Stop getting stuck in the walls. Nailed it. I just need the green. But the green is the one that we had before, had first, right? It should be the easiest. Bonk. Huh? 
That wasn't so hard. I thought I was more strictly timed than that. Panicking for no reason. Nothing. Whoa, this is way deeper than I thought. Whoa, whoa. Just stay focused, Ray. You've been in darker places than this. Have we though? This is this is way deeper than I ever thought. This is literally in the bowels of a black hole. How much deeper could you have gotten? Honestly. Uh. Locked door. Ah, up here. Thank God for glowing fungus. Whoops. One for glowing fungus. You would not know where the hell we are. All right. Doors open. Whoa. Are you stone, dead, or sleeping and just not animated breathing? They're not blinking. Or at the very least, they're blinking, blinking very slowly. Feels like I'm being watched. No kidding. Which is ironic, because we're streaming, so technically they are. Technically they are being watched, even by someone other than the player. Yeah. What is that? I don't know what I did, but I did something. Huh? Sorry. Um. You're okay. Who much mushrooms? Hopefully they're not the toxic kind. Oh, door's closed. Of course. Locked from the other side. Where's up there? How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Oh, it's a grind rail. Of course it is. Whee! Oh, what the fuck? What the? What the? What the? Oh. I did not expect that. By the way, you're being watched by the eye thing that's there. Even though it's... I guess it's eyes are closed, so it's not really watching us. We gotta find the first thing to punch first. We found the end point. We haven't found the start point yet. Oh, that start point there? It's behind a wall. Never mind. Behind itself? Uh... Okay. I'm supposed to climb up it. Oh, fuck. How am I supposed to get up there? I can barely see the camera. It's so dark! Oh. I think I see. No, no I don't. I don't see it all. Wait, no, no actually I do. That's why the time is so long. Stabby stabby, motherfucker! I think you're a big spider thing? I don't remember, I never- I got a good look at you before when the stream ended last time, but I don't remember. What were you? And why were you here? Who are all of you? Good question. Where am I? Wow, that really was covering a lot. Fine, I can't go that way. Red, green, and blue. Yep, that's totally the best colors to use. I think I can tell the difference. It's not too bad. Does Arik keep lighting all of these candles? Possibly. They're all pretty well lit. Like, they're not burned down to nothing. Roots have grown deep into the temple. I thought the rock was a book. Oh! Growing out of that person's head. They're intertwined. 
Is that a girl and a guy one? Or is that just two different ones? This must be one of the Umbra Elders. How does the Spore song go? Oh, are we really gonna sing it? Okay. Uh... Give me a second. What was it again? I don't remember. Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity, part the eternal veil and enlighten. This must be one of the Umbra Elders. How does the Spore song Elders go? Who Elders dream. who dream? In crepuscular infinity. In crepuscular I infinity. <laughs> She's so hesitant. Part the eternal veil. Part the eternal veil. <laughs> and enlighten me. And enlighten me. So uncertain. Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity. Part the eternal veil and enlighten me. I love how un uncertain she sounds. It's so like, uh, I, I feel weird doing this. I am the speaker. Oh, Jesus. Silence. I died 27 cycles ago. My fingers entwined with my beloved's. I am Umbra. Do you call fingers the same thing that's on your head? We use them for the appendages on the ends of our arms. Never mind, I think you have a tentacle arm that's wrapped around his other side. 27 cycles, that's years, I assume. You reach out again, but have yet to spread your roots in the heart of another. Oh god, is it this is it the dude's aunt? Or like mother is like Hey, why do you gotta give us some kids, you know? Go find a girl for yourself. Don't they know there's no one around to spread roots with? <laughs> Umbra must engage in communion to achieve diffusion across the great gradient of selves beyond. I want grandchildren! I don't care if there are no girls around. You gotta find someone. Wait. You are not Ari. No! No. Are a soul that stands apart from their oneness, who loves not but their own ends. Your quest does not concern us. Yeah, I'm a girl with her own shit going on. Cool. Also, that you say that in a way that sounds very negative, and I don't appreciate that. I'm just trying my best, man. Have you heard of the being called Echo? Can you tell me anything about them? Please. Lives are at stake. He's very mysterious and she keeps killing me and it hurts. Would appreciate any information. Curious. I will ask the silent ones if they know the origins of the entity of which you speak. I won't hold my breath. Ah. They're kind of silent, so I don't think they're going to be of much use. Telepathy. Telepathy. Yes, we have seen endless cycles of their fruitless struggle. They have been removed from the cycles of life and death. However... Hmm? We hear whispers from the ground that they smell of null. You smell of null as well. Void. The silent ones can offer you nothing but contempt. I must comfort them. Leave this place. Oh great, so they hate us. Although, what I also what I did notice is that her eyes started glowing when she was like awake and looking at us and trying to speak to us. All the eyes of the guys sitting on the ground outside were shining. They were watching us. They were watching us very closely. That makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I see your eyes are out now. All of the eyes of the guys back there, they were all shining. That makes me so uncomfortable. Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity. Yada yada. I am the speaker for the silent. Your presence here frightens us. Yes, but why though? If you seek further guidance, pursue another elder. I beg of you. Piss off, find someone else to talk to is basically what she's saying here. We hate you for some unknown esoteric reason. Fuck off. 
guys are awake. Your eyes are glowy. You're just kind of staring at us. You're creeping me out, guys. That's canon now. They are watching us. Oh, damn it. You like light? Or do you prefer darkness? Too bad, I'm lighting it up. Because I need to see. I don't care how good your night vision is. Mine's terrible. And only getting worse. Okay. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Surely there's no void runner shit down here. This has to be like a story area. There's no... Oh boy. No way there's void runner stuff. The cache is down here. They're all outside, I bet. Because the void runner cache is also uh, very bright and... This place is dark as hell. We'd see them a mile away. Whoops. That's helpful. We have blue and green. Need a red one to open that door. Is there a path down there? Oh shit, really? Really? And also I think all the things I hit are starting to dim. I need to be quick. No, actually, I think those are all spikes. Just some of the spikes are glowy. Well, me the way for forward. Bear with me your wisdom. Bear with me your... Ah, there's the red one! Oh, whoa, 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 We got it. Punch things for light. So I know that that's there, but I'm gonna... Whoa. I was gonna go scout ahead and see if I could light up the path, but it doesn't seem highly possible. I'm just gonna have to wing it. Wing it! Oh, wait. This was where I was before, but all the light went out. Huh. Guys all alive? Yeah, they're all alive. All alive and spending their endless loops. Just kind of sitting around. Not a whole lot. Oh, so these are books. Home by Eric. Oh, felicity to be set free from the cycle's cold duplicity. Like death cap, which does split and splay the biotic form of yesterday. Cycles, meaning either years or cycles of life and death, like in here. To eat the living so it can grow is the only life it knows. For it will one day too be a primordial stew for something new. I'm not sure what to make of that. My first impression is that that means that he thinks... Oh, there is a Void Runner cache here. He thinks that there is a... That, he thinks that the Ultra Void is... Fucking... Put your thoughts together, Zelix. Put your thoughts together. He thinks the Ultra Void is consuming life because it has to and will one day birth a new universe once it has enough. I think that's what I got from that. Primordial stew, meaning new universe. There is poetry to this place. The reaches of the universe, collected and working in concert, living their eternal rest in harmony. Is this a guiding hand? We came to destroy this void, but I do not wish to destroy a place of such beauty. Those of simple minds are at a junction. Tufty has given up on the start. Gozam seeks to tuck tail and run. They think too small. Our work here is not yet done. What? I don't understand. A Ultra Void can't be the guiding hand. It's literally destroying planets. Tufty has given up on something and Gossam is trying to run away. Are those two other Void Runners? I don't know what you're up to, Pyatt. Sort this out. Don't fuck it up until we figure it out. Please. Let's activate this little pod. We're also very deep in here. I'm hoping we can get out. Somehow. Should be easier to get back this way. Back. Oh, is this taking me all the way back up? 
Cool. I think I've gotten everything in here. There's supposedly another elder. Let's go up! Let's get the fuck out of here. We made it. A long way down. We're out! This thing is a little bit more health. They take a lot more swipes than everything else. Where are we? There's a blue one. Ow! Ow! There's much more than one. Okay, and there's a void runner. Bit turned around because I don't know where I am. Right here. Oh. I think this is even further away from when I started. It's hard to clear an area and know that you've looked everywhere when you have no idea where you are and where you began. Oh, there's another void runner cache over here. Get him. All right, we've got another cache here. Whoops. Tell me what you know. These bones, ancient and colossal, they are from someplace out of space and time, someplace greater than our own what i think these creatures were worshipped the remnants I walk among a graveyard of gods what i don't know about that the team has readied their conduits even as our communications fail us i can feel the star seeds power growing its vibrations intensifying i can barely contain the jubilation wait but that means that Things seem to be going well for Pyatt. I hope I can get in touch. If it was working for him, then... Oh, shit. Whoops. If it was working for him, it was growing, then... Why didn't it activate? Bill lost, by the way. Oh. Hi. How are you doing? Um, we're gonna find a way to get inside there. Oh, there's a red one over there. This is probably gonna help us open that door. I don't think we can get to that door fast enough for the blue to wear, for the blue to not wear off. This will probably give us a rail. Yeah, that gets us, us there faster. I call it. Whoop. Over here though. Yes, I've been distracted again. Don't worry about it. Probably just gonna find some red crystals. Still satisfying. Now we should be able to open that door. Blink, motherfucker! You didn't blink fast enough. Turns out it wasn't holding that thing Another up. That thing was just destroyed. floating. Because it could. Could be able to climb up this shit. I was on the wrong side. Such a bleak camera angles. Oh, I read. Pages torn from a journal. The last fortnight, I've watched a planet grow closer and closer to the Ultra Void. Yeah, that's that's mine. That's my planet. When I look up at it, I swear I can hear the sound of everyone I once loved crying out in pain. Is it the same sound on every planet? Probably not. Different languages, different creatures, different throats. I do not fear death. Not any longer. But I cannot watch another world suffer as mine has. May it end swiftly. Paragon Dandipos. Paragon Dandipos. So many souls counting on me. Don't give up. Not yet. Is it getting bigger in the sky? I think it is. I think that's way bigger. I, I genuinely think it's way bigger, and it's cracked now, I think, too. I don't think it was cracked before. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's what I think. That's what I feel, more accurately. Oh. 
Okay. Make it, make it. Oh, we made it. What did you do? Quiet. What did you do? He was doing something, then something went wrong, and he like flashed a light, and he or an explosion, and he was blown against the wall, and the hell. The neophyte has heeded my wisdom. Eh? We shall see the star seeds' glory in full relief. From the moment Tufty unearthed that ancient artifact, Hope's seed was planted. Now, we see destiny fulfilled. The end of our time, the beginning of a new one. The moon shines brighter than I could have imagined. To bathe in its scintillating rays at the end of the world is to experience the divine. Take us, star seed. And grant our people safe passage. I have waited my whole life for the joy of revelation. Finally, here at the end, I feel it. I don't understand. So he activated the star seed? Off the unearth the ancient artifact. Does he think that bringing our planet into the Ultra Void is gonna save it somehow? That they will, like, be transported to a new universe or something? Safe passage. It killed you. Or something killed you. I don't understand. If I find the rest of his logs, maybe I'll get the answer. Well, the other guy's logs haven't been exactly enlightening either. They've all been hints that give more questions than answers. I'm sure it'll all come together, but I'm so lost. Also stuck? Oh. Forgot, I can walk on cloud matter. Up here. Ooh. Green. I don't think I have green. I know where blue and red are. Green down there, but I don't think I can make it. Let's give it a try anyway. Come on. We have time. We can do it. We can do it. We did it! We did have enough time. Dust, I think. Looks lived in. We spent so much time fearing this void, villainizing it. But in here, I see all of this diversity, beauty. So many parts of the universe bonded by destiny. Holy places have a resonance to them, a resonance I am well familiar with, and this place positively vibrates with it. I was chosen to walk among these clouds. I believe. Yes, it is only fitting to place the starseed conduit at the foot of this shrine. He really likes the Ultra Void for some reason. Starseed didn't save Pyatt. Why did he have so much faith in it? He grasp onto something in this weird ass place, I guess. Why that? I don't know. He's a strange person. Like, I liked the other two. I just feel off. The weird. Yes. Poem written by Eric. Mushroom, mushroom, saprophyte. In the shadows of the night, what decaying limb or eye could feed thy moral symmetry? Yeah, try again, dude. You didn't quite get the rhyming down. Mushroom in a jar. This one is labeled Emberly. These look like bones from some weird biped alien. Only has two eyes. That's sad. We have three eyes canonically then, I guess. Confirmed! We have three eyes. Those aren't just lights and cameras. Those are our eyes. Also, I think these are birds. Do they have four eyes? 
Or are those also like, just lights? <laughs> Hi! Didn't mean to scare you, I just was standing here for a while. Oh, it's you. I guess you thought I was some sort of apparition and didn't expect me to speak to you? What do you do here exactly? I'm just a gardener, tending to the mycelium network that connects the void to the infinite beyond. At least, until today. I'm supposed to complete the ritual today, so the eternal cycle can continue. Plain English, please. I don't understand. You see that unhatched spoiling? It will replace me. Until one day, it too completes the ritual. Such is our way. You don't seem too happy about this ritual, Auric. Yeah. You're leaving now, right? <laughs> You're leaving now, right? You have other better things to do, don't you? Right? You're gonna fuck off now, right? <laughs> Where are the rest of your people? My people are Umbra. Collectors of lost souls in the void. Wardens of the Eternal Cycle. Only I remain to tend the garden. The rest have joined the Mycelium Network. I'm so sorry. Your people are all gone? You're all alone out here? We are void natives. Not biotics like you. Fungi pushing through the loam to enforce the Eternal Cycle. Life to death. To life. To defy that is our ultimate taboo. I don't think I could ever accept losing someone I loved the way you do. Neither. You're leaving now, right? Yeah, he's telling us to fuck off. I know the elder. Well, other elders. Where can I find these elders? The keeper is close. In a cave surrounded by ancient bones. The tender sits beside a lake of lava, far from here, a trip across the void. And from there, the Collector is in the graveyard, at the top of the lava ball that feeds the lake. Okay... What? And the antecedent, the eldest of all, well, only go there last. After you have spoken to the others, she sits in a crystal palace buried deep inside an island in the lava lake. When it is time, I'll meet you there. Thanks, Auric. You're leaving now, right? So I've met only one, and they're the speaker. How does the sp elder? Blah, blah, You're blah. leaving now, right? Sorry to bother you, buddy. Sorry to bother you. Okay. Please, just go. People well, really don't want to, don't seem to want me around. So is this his replacement? The mushroom in a jar. This one is labeled Teodoros Ruxpli. The device with the turning table, and a tracing stylus that moves from side to side. The label reads Gemini Gyro Deck SL twelve thousand. One is labeled Rose. Strange wet egg sac. Looks like something is slowly moving to and fro inside the membrane. But that must be his replacement. I'm not sure what's in these packages. But I'm glad they're staying wrapped. They sound like they smell real bad. Good to know. That church-like thing must be the cave. Maybe it's down there along the ancient bone. Maybe we should... Down there? Ah, this way. Oops. Dummy. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Alright, so there should be one this way. One of the. There it is. Tell me why you were so enamored with this freaking star seed, dude. You weren't. Tough thing 
thinks he can control the star seed with careful calculations and measurements. But the only way to unlock the star seed's power is to surrender to it. We must feed it everything we have if we want to be saved. What? Feed it everything? Is that what it takes to activate the star seed? I don't know. Feed it everything is in all the conduit power stuff or is in everything being universe everything is the starseed i don't think the starseed is originally a part of the ultra void it's supposed to deactivate the ultra void. network interference detected yes 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 but i want to see what the new suit is he gains shield energy when enemies are destroyed oh that's good how can we help you Ooh. we'll get you back online soon oh oh this one's pretty i like the little white white thing on the top Little streak of white in the void. Little like ear-like things. Oh, I love it. It looks so cool. The original is still I prefer the original, but ah oh, the colors. Oh, I, I really like this one actually. I think I might keep this one for a little bit. Oh wait, what's this? Oh. Oh. I believe I didn't find you before. Hi. Looks like an Umbra Elder. Elders, who, Elders dream. who dream? In crepuscular infinity. I remember it. Part the eternal veil and enlighten me. Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity. Part the eternal veil and enlighten me i remember it i am the keeper of the rights i died ten thousand forty jesus ago, whispering a prayer i am umbra the other one was like 30 something cycles ago this guy's ten thousand cycles ago jesus christ he's old your incantations are practiced and precise. Really? You know the rights. Practiced and precise, eh? Uh, I sounded very uncertain and unpracticed. For my opinion, the fuck are you on about? But we see you don't understand the rights. They aren't just words. Spoken. Uh -huh. What is spoken must become action. You shirk responsibility like an impudent spawning. Why do you refuse to join us in oneness, Auric? Ah, still think some Auric. He's refusing to join them in their eternal death sleep. I think. Forsooth, you are not Auric. You are the soul separated from their time. What? Space, cells, home. Leave us be and never return. Is this gonna be the same with all the elders? They're just gonna say, Oh right, you're not the dude we what we like. Uh, fuck off. We hate you. What do you know of the remnants? I'm a stranger here. Yes, but I'm no fiend. Do you know where the remnants came from? Hmm. An unorthodox request. I will grant you audience. Thank I you. I will consult the network on the origins of the malignant forces of which you speak. Thank you. Finally. Yes, we have seen of growing piles of swollen dividing masses. They murmur doubts that your question is genuine. What? You are not all you appear to be. What? 
Oh, come on. Your existence is a profanity. Oh, come on. And do not darken our path evermore. You say you have answers, but it's like, oh no, your uh, existence is a swear. Fuck off. That's something I know all too well. Great. Thanks. You're so helpful. Umbra at one with their brethren. Great. And something inside just falls. Is there an Umbra in there? Little baby. Baby Umbra. That's what these things are. The race is the Umbra. Mushroom people. Oh boy. Well, I'm down here now. Cool. This is bigger than I thought. Ah. It's another one of the things I'm supposed to kill. Eh. I don't think I need one of these. I probably need that to kill it. I don't think I can climb all the way up. Oh, it's up there. Right. Mind, I didn't see. It might have been outside, actually. I think that's where the next one was. I didn't see it. Oop. Open! Yeah, I think it goes around the outside. On. Got it. Open wide! Now, I know you say that for mouths, not eyes, but whatever. I don't think all the other guys. Scan for the remaining anomaly. Yet. Okay, so where's the other one? Over there? Okay. This place is weirdly structured. It's kind of playing with gravity. Hello. Huh. So I gotta go over here and climb along the bones to actually even make it there. That's pretty cool. So many bones. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. The long walk back. Oof. Don't fall off. We did it! Okay. But that's not. That's what I expected. You're gonna shock me if I try that. I make it up there. No, fuck off! There's three in that one. Get it! Yes! Well, I thought I... I totally thought I whiffed it. And he's awake! The Withered Eye. Massive anomaly. Ooh. Huh. A little big blob here. I thought that there would be an elder there. Because it said bones of a massive thingamajig. Ah, uh, I must have been. Yeah, these ribs did find them already. So I woke it up. Oh, there it is, up there. Ah. I'm coming for you, little centipede thing. 
Giant anomaly, I'm coming! Giant moon. Cool. I know, right? Don't die. This is definitely different. Oh, feels like a Legend of Zelda boss. Uh oh. Jeez. Definitely feel. It feels. No, it feels like something from Super Mario Galaxy. Okay, got it. There we go. Beat the Super Mario Galaxy boss. Got it! Get him! Yeah, crawl around the planet. Be like Bowser in Super Mario Galaxy. I beat that game. You got nothing on me. Come at me, motherfucker! What can you do? Wait. Oh, other hand. Other hand! Ah! Missed! Fuck off! No you don't! No you don't! No you don't! No you don't! Woo! Get it, get it, get it! Get it! Alright, we're on! Shadow of the Colossus time! Oops, I missed. Alright, nope, 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 nope. We got it, we got it. We can do this. We're good. Oh, damn it, damn it, we got stuck. We got stuck! Ow! Got stuck. Now where are you? The other side of the planet. There we go. Which is usually saying a lot. In this scenario, it's not saying much at all. Get stuck in the goo. Damn it. Damn it. Whoa, that was close. Barely made that one. Whoa. We got it! We got it! Oh, we were barely making it. Only just. Oh, whoa, whoa. I get scared. Don't say that. Now I feel bad. The other side of le set of legs. No, all the legs. Reveal your final eye. Oh, we got it. Oh shit, oh I slipped off. That was very close, we almost had it. I don't see it being scared, I don't know where you got that from, but fair enough, you, you spend more time around these things than I have. Well actually no, we've spent the same amount of time. Well, it, I guess it's different when you're there, you can kind of notice more compared to a game. Experiences with VR have told me that. You're much more observant when you're there. Or when at least you feel like you're there. We 
got it, we got it, we can do this. Don't look at the timer, just try and go as fast as you can. Oh, we got it! We got it! And it's over! And to say hello to Echo again. Lose a shield part. Bitch. Can I explain? Why do you keep bringing me? It's not telling us anything. I see so many of you. You blur together. You've taken no heed of my warnings. So many? There's only one of me. If you could stop me, you would have by now. Exactly, if you're so powerful. I cannot stop you, but I can cause you pain. There are many ways to hurt someone. Even more ways to hurt oneself. Very true. Continue down this path, and you will suffer. Like me. Why? You gotta explain. I can't act without information. Or worse. Worse than you? No, ow! Ow. And it's almost definitely closer. I'm okay. Just a shield slot. Are we fine? Rain, you look exhausted. Are you sure you are feeling okay? No, I'll get through. I'm fine. You can stop asking me that. Sorry. You are our highest priority. Thank you. I appreciate. We were sent here to activate the star seed, and you might be the last chance we have. Hmm. What we meant to say is, we care about you. Helping you is no problem. Appreciate it. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have snapped at you. Yeah. But I'm not doing so good. Everything here is dead or dying. Can't get that out of my head. Very morbid. Gets you down. Sid, I don't... I don't know what I would do without you. Cry. Break down, die, probably die, like the rest of Void Runners. You're the only thing keeping me together. I got to say. Welcome back, Ray. What can we do for you? Um, prepare my shield cell again. Finished installation. How can we help you? Something must have gone wrong. Something must have gone wrong. Another Void Runner lost. Pyatt. I found Pyatt's body. If you can even call it that. An echo of their body. Poor Pyatt. We are attempting to recall a memory fragment. Perhaps we are mistaken, but we believe he was exuberant. He said something like, The laws of equivalent exchange will set things right. I love how she imitates them. It's so good. Yes, that's right. He wanted to know if our processor was complex enough to understand the true power of the starseed and why he came here. We wish we could remember more. Enamored with it. True power of the starseed? I mean. True power? Can the starseed do more than just collapse the ultra void? Fuck if I know. Uncertain. But void tech is a relatively unexplored technology. And despite our best efforts, unpredictable. Perhaps Pyatt knew more than he revealed. That was his way. Yeah, and I hate people who are that way. I'd rather know than just be given esoteric hints in poetry. It is productive to remember. Did our story comfort you? Little. No, not really, Sid. But thanks for trying. Well, you didn't have to say it. Thinking it. You only raised even more questions. What happened to here? Do you remember what happened in the Eternal Garden before you went offline? Our memories are obfuscated. 
But we think this is what happened. When Pyatt activated our conduit, he sprinkled oil made from tree resin across the ground. Huh? He said we must remember such a momentous occasion, and that soon we would find salvation in the Star Seed's cleansing light. I hope he found the salvation he was looking for. Wish I could just understand what happened to him. Perhaps if you recover more of their mission logs, we can understand what happened to them. We don't. Are there more caches? Can you scan for Voidrunner caches in the sector? Scanning. You have recovered all of the Voidrunner logs in this sector. How can we help you? I said. Yeah, we found everything here. Next one's a lava place, I assume. That way. <laughs> Gravity. Uh, in other games, this would be seen as a glitch. In this game, this is just how the Ultra Void is. I think the way forward's over here from Iron Root. We've completed their story. Tiny bit through. From what I can gather, they are located under these places. At these places. Under the Whispering Sanctum. In a cave surrounded by ancient bones. We found that. Near a lava lake on the other side of the Ultra Void. Yeah, that's we're about to go there. Above a lava ball by a graveyard within a crystal palace. Wait, it seems Arik has never performed communion ritual. His chastity prevents him from reaching his goal, but I'm not sure if there are any umbra left for communing. That Arik is exalt exacting in performing these rites, but lacking in action. Teleport! Wub wub wub! I really wish the teleport was animation was a little bit more than just a loading screen, but fair enough. It is loading an entire new area. I don't know how well the game handles it without a loading screen. Maybe they wanted to, but it couldn't. Only where to go. Yeah, I thought so. We traveled two kilometers. That's pretty far. But also, on the scale of planets and like black holes, that's not that far. How big is the Ultra Void? It must be like one shard of a planet that's one tiny shard of a planet a tiny piece of the ultra void above the core. I don't know how else to explain the distances. Open up, motherfucker! Ooh. That looks like a ship. I feel like that's way closer. I feel like even if we somehow activate it, that we're too late. Pages torn from a journal. The planet shattered into thousands of tiny pieces. There was a flood of burning rain. Devils of swirling rock and metal created chaos as they flew all around me. I retreated to the safety of the forest altar. After some days, I dared step out into the open air. And it is strange. This new world seems to have folded in. As if it was always here. Huh. Turned on down the pause. So, despite the planets being ripped into a thousand tiny pieces, it seems that they've somehow been Even reconstructed. The water here is hazardous because, of course, it is. <laughs> so, even though it was ripped to pieces, it seemed to have been reformed and slotted in. In a way. Woo! Jump pads. Oh, that's ages away. Man, that's way further than I thought. What happens if I go down there? Ah. That's about what I expected. At least you're having fun being bounced around like that. Oops. Oops. That time was not on purpose. First time was on purpose. That time was not. Didn't help. Whoa. I know, right? That's what I said. The cable is frayed. That looks dangerous. Don't zap me. Ow. Ow. Ah, so this one doesn't deteriorate like the other ones does. It's flickering. The other one, the, the main one, deteriorates. 
like you lose the cape and shit. I think this one doesn't though. I mean, you work for your cosmetic, you're gonna keep seeing it. But I like the deterioration aspect. We climb up, oh, shh. I don't know why, what that meter was about. I don't I didn't understand that meter. In this cable's frayed and electrified too. Whoa. Whoa. This area is big. Maybe this isn't lava. Maybe this is acid. It is the acid palaces after all. Oh, nope, I can't get over there. Assuming I can't get on this either. Try. Nope, oh, hurt. Hurt. No. We gotta find some way to fix the cables. I assume that's why I looked up at the ship, so I'm supposed to get up there somehow. The old fashioned way. By jumping. No sneaky cable shit for me. You know what that is? Oh, I can destroy the mines by hitting them. That's helpful. Can't go on that. Oh, there's goo. I can get up here. This is Admiral Ames. Hello? CSU Caligon. You are interrupting a highly restricted military operation. Please exit the area or prepare to be fired upon. Just try it. Your ship's in bits. Hold on. I'm a void runner. I'm looking for anomalies in the area. Maybe we could work together. Your ship's in pieces. I don't think you have much of a leg to stand on. A void runner. How auspicious. You know about the anomalies. Do you swear fealty to First Citizen Dungeness Pertinax? Who? I don't even know who that is. You don't know the First Citizen? The humble ruler of Cyclodoria. They live a simple life and value wisdom and equanimity above all else. They ensure the wealth of our people is used to keep all galaxies safe and cared for. Cyclo what now? I don't know who they are. And I'm not interested in joining their club. You may <laughs> not follow them, but are you an ally of the First Citizen? I don't know. Sure. Sure. Good. Rock up and meet me on the bridge of the FCSU Caligon. We need to discuss these anomalies. <laughs> sure. Why not? If it helps me get closer to saving my planet, as long as they aren't literal fascists, I'll deal with it. Otherwise, I might be tempted to destroy their shit. Fair warning. You're dumb enough to just take my word for it. Whee! Real skater girls use jump pads. That one's electrified, I can't use that one. I don't think I can fix this. Should I break it? Nailed it! I hope that wasn't important to you, because I just broke it. Those look like snails. Are those intact ships? Ooh. Maybe. Not the whole ship's in bits. Ah. Maybe taunt them a little less. Oh fuck! <laughs> Shit, this is going poorly. Woo! We saved we saved it. We saved it. <laughs> oh that was close. That could have gone way worse. I thought those two bolts were a face and I couldn't see the third eye. But the, the, a two, a, an eye, a nose, and I couldn't see an, a second eye. But just my brain, this was a did. And I wanted to get up here, why? Uh...
Probably. Why did I want to get up here? Nailed it. Okay. Just skate a girl around. We'll be fine. Be fine. We're good. We know what we're doing. Fix it. So we're making shortcuts slowly but surely. Maybe I'll even get a third, the, the fourth final. What's it called? Guild cell. At the end of this, I won't hold my breath. It's three thousand. This is a big enough area, or just might. Woo whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Okay, yep, whoop, whoop, whoop. Saved it. Oh, I love the movement. Whee oh, avoid running cash. Don't mind if I do. No, there's a void runner who made it over here. Whoops. Other way! Oh boy, that was... I couldn't see whether I was landing. Pure luck, that one. Oh, Sam. Oh, Sam, no. I thought that was an enemy. Sam. Sam tried to run. I'm trying to do something over there. Ran. Died. I don't know what happened. Finding this ship was a fool's errand. Now that it's like it's ready to blow, Tufty must have miscalculated. I doubt anyone has joined the kid at the rendezvous at the base of the star seat. I need to gather them all and jet out of here before this place gets blown to high hell. Wait, something's happening. This. That's fucking ominous, isn't it? I assume it says the starseed it's activating. When the reaction is not, we've saved everything, it's, my god, what have we done? That's not a good sign. Sam, I wish you were still here. I'm going to fix this. Are we? I'm starting to get the impression that what we're doing might not be what we think we're doing. That we might actually be fucking shit up. Pretty badly, in fact. You don't react, my god, what have we done to something that's saving your planet. I'm getting some bad vibes from the Starseed now. Bad feeling. Almost made it to the ship. And the weird AI who's... Thinks I'm part of their... What sounds like a cult? Please let it not be a cult. I think we're inside. I totally know who this first citizen person is. Definitely. Looks like it's on the fritz. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. This thermos has a note attached to it. Grimclaw's special brew. Do not touch. Oh, it's a thermos. These are big people. Look how big they are. Their seats are compared to me. Oh boy. A hastily opened set of tools. It looks like someone has been trying to repair the ship in multiple locations, but it hasn't been successful in any of them. Huh? Was that Gozam who did that? Maybe. Any of these other chairs have a? These are labeled, use in case of emergency. Looks like they contain some sort of inflatable helix shell, but like a raft. Hello, you are big. You're not an AI, you're a bug man. Hi, bug man. Ah, void runner. You may not swear fealty to our first citizen, but I appreciate you coming to help. You're welcome. 
I carry with me some grave intel. We had been on a mission to tactfully acquire resources from neighboring planets when we returned home, or at least where home used to be. All we found was this treacherous void. Tactfully acquire resources sounds mo a lot like plundering. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Which, given how big you are, ain't very far. My Initial scans show no sign <laughs> of life, but we received a distress signal. Our first citizen, our guiding light, Dungeness Pertinax, must have helped everyone <laughs> escape or find safety. But we can't locate them. <laughs> they have gone missing. I didn't even get to finish my question. I have dispatched four highly skilled away teams to find them. Unfortunately, the away teams have also gone missing. Yeah, the void does that. I fear they have crashed due to the unpredictable gravity and anomalies in this cursed abyss. Mm -hmm. You want me to? We must find the first. <laughs> they would have done everything to ensure the safety of our. Can people. you let me finish my sentence? Life, free from greed and full of wisdom, truly. They are the only one fit to justly rule over the kingdom. Uh-huh. Sure. I need you to hit the silt and find my way I'm being talked to act, not win. Help me ensure the safety of first citizen Dungeness Pertinax and all of Cyclodoria. Cyclohanabadra? The Philosopher King. Buddy, can you let me finish the sentence? What are you doing? Just standing around with an open crumb catcher? You think I got all this chest candy by standing around? We're in the middle of a real Charlie Foxtrot. Go find my crew. First question, what's Charlie Foxtrot? Second question, does that mean those medals are edible? Can I have one? I'm hungry. Can you give me any more info on your teams? <gasps> oh my god, he let me finish a question. Timothoa squad, Argulus squad, Linnea squad, Anathia squad. A brave and noble crew. Directions. More information. I their names mean nothing to me. We have dedicated our lives to cool lifting names, others out of misery. Even if it means they must step on us to find freedom. Yeah, enough of the flowery bullshit. Tell me where they are. Thank where you. Did Lernea squad go? They were investigating the area near the Oplantis Dam. It's just a short ways from here. Cool. Look for a dam. Where did Simothoa squad go? We detected a capsized luxury vessel atop our galactically renowned Falling Waters District. They galactically to renowned. Mm -mm. A capsized luxury vessel. We're gonna go to a cruise ship? Ooh. Where did Argulus squad go? They were investigating some old signal amplifiers in the industrial sector. Ah, uh, so the factory. Mm -hmm. Where did Nathia squad go? Our scanners picked up some signals near Ida's tower. They headed that way. So a tower, so a dam, a tower, it's just a cruise ship, and a factory. Thank you. That's much more helpful than all the other bullshit you were spouting. Very windy. Let's go! Gating around at the speed of sound. The places to go, got some teams we gotta find. This place is so big and pretty. Woo! Oh, so pretty. So creative. I love it. Hello? Ooh. Hi. Stop staring. Ah, so I can turn it on and on. Cool. Thank you for your usefulness. A uh, little. Mushroom thing is toxic. That it is. Yet it didn't burn away a shield. So can I just go, 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 go? And I don't know how long I have to stand on that for, but let's try and make it minimal. Ow! Very helpful, mate. Very fucking helpful. So, which direction I hit it from says which way it will let me go. Lesson learned. 
I won't fly into a wall next time. Maybe if I stay on it long enough for the bar to complete, I'll get hurt. Maybe that's what it's trying to say? Whoops. Other than that, I couldn't say what the poison stuff does. Don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. Don't fall into the void. More than we already have. Broken. But we can fix it with a smack! I like to think that we're not actually smacking it, that it's, uh... We're so full of Ultra Void power that we're just shooting Ultra Void, not Ultra Void power, Void energy into it. <laughs> Nailed it. Woohoo! This way. Oh, we go up. Oh boy, what that? Okay, that's not what I expected to happen. Gravity really is fucking weird in this place. I love it. It's so... You never know which way you're gonna go. The last fight was literally on a Super Mario Galaxy-esque pla planet. If that's not cool, I don't know what is. Yep. Maybe this is the dam they were talking about. Yeah, this is the dam. The team has got to be around here somewhere. Is this them? Nope. I think they crashed somehow. Oh no. This doesn't look good. Dwelling pools of acid full of empty parapaces. Ah. The Nea Squad field report. We found no sign of the first citizen. Our scuttlecraft crash landed due to unknown signal interference. And many of the crew are too injured to continue searching. Great. Luckily, we landed near the healing hot springs of Oblantis. We can really? all soothe our wounds here. Um. Oh. So that's why they're all dead in there. Yeoman Rowe claims their instrumentation has detected a slow and steady increase in the acidity levels. But the crew and I all agree it feels great. And I ordered Ro to jump in with us. And that's where they die. This must be one of the away teams. I better tell names. Break to the Ukelagon. Admiral, I think I've found something. Glorious. How are they faring? Do you want to speak to them? I'll just put the radio on the static and you'll get the same experience. Well, um, I found their uniforms, but the rest of them, I think they dissolved. No. My crew, they're... They're heroes. Heroes who jumped into vat of acid. They found a glorious death in the name of the Empire and will be immortalized in song for ages to come. Yes, the glorious death of dissolving in a vat of acid willingly. Hopefully these will be the only lives it costs. Please, hurry to the others. That's pretty optimistic, isn't it? I will. Rest easy, Lernea squad. <laughs> what the fuck, people? What did you... What did you think that was gonna happen? I guess they thought it was a healing spring. With a slow increase in acidity levels, but I guess the... My fucky wucky time bullshit. And like, the memory stuff meant that they just kept staying in there until the acid eventually just... Dissolved them dead. Okay, now let's activate this ring. That'd only be good, right? did it. We are smart girls. Puzzle solving geniuses. Someone needs a lesson in cable management. Yeah, right. Whoa. Whoa, that's a big sword. That remnant, it's, it's familiar. Like I saw it in a dream. That's a shadow of the Colossus boss if I ever saw one. He's using a ship. A former ship is a giant sword. 
That's badass. Critical systems offline. Repair network to resume functionality. Anomalous power sources. Yep. The usual. The mirror sea. Cool. We found the Linnea squad at the dam. Network interference detected. Loading emergency services. Can you scan for void runner caches in the sector? Can it? There are five unrecovered void runner logs in this sector. Oh. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. So there's five. We already found one. That's a lot more. Oh, there's one over there. I see it. From downtown, I guess. From the sky. We dropped from orbit for that one. Held it. Oh fuck, damn it. Come on, get out of it. Get out of the acid. Oh, you're not dead? I got it. Oops. I think I fucked that up. There we go. Over the wall. Jumping the walls of Helm's Deep. It's not a wall, it's a platform. Never mind. This ain't Helm's Deep, this is just a tower. Working on it, that. The conduit is planted. I got clear readings from the top of the dam. If Tufty's calculations are correct and core energy levels match our predicted wavelength, we can collapse the Ultra Void. Been studying the planet for the last few hours. It's not looking good. I just hope we can get the damn machine started up in time. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, this is only half a leg. I'm going to start it up, Gozam. I swear. Yeah, I guess no one's there gonna be there to hold you to your plot promise if you fuck it up. So, no danger in swearing it. Anyone who'll know you didn't succeed is you. That's still bad. It'll still hurt like a bitch. Alright. Up to the top of the dam, I guess. Alright, off we go. Past the giant clock. Wait, we should see if there's any... Once we've missed everything. Well, gotta start somewhere. Oh, they are all up there. I'm sure if I'm just exploring around trying to find caches, I'll find them eventually. Be too hard. We should go this way. Ended path. Our tower! The, we ran out of road! Phew. Ran out of road. But we can make it. Probably won't hurt. It probably won't hurt. Oh. Well, so we know how it works. You get hit when it's at the, the white line going down. It hurts. Fuck. Too far. Just barely too far. Bridge does branch off, so we should check the other ways. Maybe this tower is where the other one, or the other guys. Whoops. Ow. That was that was very risky. Even if you just touch a tiny little bit of it. Oops. Too much of this. My life support systems are toast. Fuck. I tried to jump off the tower and I sailed straight over it. Not the tower, the pillar. The pillar's the correct word. It doesn't go down faster if I'm still touching. Woo! Oh, fuck. Stand on top of it. Stand on top of it. Stand on top of it. Let's try the other way then. The music definitely reminds me of Hyperlight Drifter. Big. He's the biggest Colossus that we've had to deal with so far. Well, not Colossus. Behemoth? What did they call it? Forgotten Behemoths? I'm sure we'll find out once we activate him. 
This pavilion must have been impressive in its day. It still kind of is. It's not that dilapidated that's not impressive. That's just my opinion. Aha, we guessed correct. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. We got stuck in the goo. Oh, up there. Yeah, that's not happening. Right, so lesson learned. Yeah, there we go. Right again. Oh, uh, where's the last one? Oh, I didn't know. Do that. Still don't. Got it. Stabby stabby in the eye. That eye on his torso? Abdomen? These guys that always have eyes in the weirdest places. I kind of feel sorry for the things. Yeah, I'm starting to too. I didn't initially. This one, it's humanoid. Doesn't actually feel that sinister. Feeling bad. Well, now that the thing's gone, how do we get up there? Like that! There'll be a way to get up and like that. Oh, just jumping, maybe? Oh, just barely. Caught the tip of the uvula. Oh, that makes it seem enough. Ugh. Ignore that. Ugh. Tell me something I don't know, Gozen. Functioning. Arcs have been shooting into the sky. Pretty sure that isn't good. I need to find my crew. I'm going to see the crustacean and try to barter with them for a scuttle craft. One of these derelict ships must have some juice left in it. These crabs certainly didn't know how to fly inside of a black hole, but I do. They're crabs, not insects. If you were still here, Gozam, I bet we could have found a ship. He did have a ship. He was repairing it while it, when he died. Where to next? Wasn't one of the things supposed to be at the pavilion? Waters, falling water district. Found the one at the dam. I guess that tower over there is... I think this is the industrial sector. Oh, really? Oh, there's the tower. You probably know more than I do. Ah, oh, yes, killing enemies with the shields. You make it... Easy. So, what happened to these guys? Well. Yep. Flat. They have purple blood by the looks. Kind of old heavy machinery. Its gears and cogs are clogged up with pincers and chitin. Titan. Never. Rest in peace, Argulus Squad. Argulus Squad field report. Discovered faint signals of the original call from the first citizen. We are so close. I had sounds. We spent the past two days searching non-stop with no sleep. The crew members are extremely tired. Sounds like it. Luckily, we have found a heavy industrial grade signal scanner. The crew said they are too drowsy. 
But I told them we have to keep working and get this machinery operational. Ugh. Time to contact Ames. Yeah, they got splattered. Right to the Ukelagon. Admiral, I think I've found something. What is that status? Dead. Pancaked. There, there, and over there. I'm sorry. I wish I had better news. It looks like the whole squad fell victim to some kind of accident with ancient industrial equipment. Half of the crew gone on this broken world. Yeah. I'm gonna say I don't feel very good about the rest of them. So sorry. Grieving their sacrifices is selfish and detracts from what they died for. The right thing to do is believe in them. In life or in death. I mean, they did work themselves to death. Literally. They fell asleep in a place where they could be crushed. That's why I assume. Ah, uh, this... Ouch. Fucking... Ow. I think that so many planets have been, like, planets with life on them have been claimed by this one black hole. So many. I don't even know what this machinery is supposed to do. Are they using it as a sleeping quarters or something? Preparing other equipment and then came back to sleep and then just flat. Oops, this was industrial equipment all along. Overwork, underpaid, underappreciated. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. What? Yeah. That? We've seen worse. Probably have to climb along it. Uh, that that not probably work. What the hell? Controller! Controller! Oh shit! Controller disconnected and that's why I was looking up like that. There we go. We got it. Not as bad as in Dark Souls. Oh fucker. Dark Souls, it took ages to reconnect. It was awful. Do the same thing twice. That's probably better than. Yeah, the way I was doing it probably wasn't great. This way's way better. Fuck. Get, get on the thing, please. Thank you. Got it! 
careful. I thought it was going to keep going higher. I think that one's actually on its... No, it's on its back. Got eyes on your back? You know, you'd think they'd put it on the obvious places, like on their head. Whatever it takes, right, Sid? These guys aren't normal, though. No normal eye placement for them. Just all over the place. Go nuts. Huh. Now that that thing's not there, I'm not sure I'm supposed to get up there. Oops. Uh. Shit. Maybe. Okay. Whee! Oh. Okay. Oh, how did how did I do that? How? Fuck. What is the purpose of that? Is that just to get better? I'm sure. I want to get up there and use the thing again. I give up. I think it was just to get the, that was the proper way to get the bot, the the eye challenge. I think I just did it the wrong way. I guess let's try this way. Oh, what? 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 Down here? The heck is down here? Huh. Wonder what's down there. Basically, what I said in more words. Less words, actually. Woo. Citizens, senators, they didn't make it. It's locked. I should keep looking for Ames' away teams. The edges of the door are covered in claw marks. Looks like they had been locked out. Well, that's cruel. So I guess someone would really object to me opening it. I'm gonna. You aren't gonna stop me if I can help it. If I can open it, I'm opening it. I gotta know what's inside. Dead insects. They call them crustaceans, but they look... Oh, well, I guess they kind of... Look like they have antenna like insects, though. Get a bird? Get a bird? I wonder if this is the tower that they're talking about. Oh, but what about over there? Over here, before we go into the big obvious place. Huh. The journal. Ah. Nothing quite like filling in the first page of a brand new journal. You shall keep all my secrets on my trip to Salodoria. Those idiots have paid me an outrageous sum to teach them how to make money from interstellar land holdings. I detest hyperspace travel, but hopefully I will have something good to watch on the hollow screen. One moment I was safely nestled in my seat, readying my presentation on planet flipping for these crabs. Next. Everything went black. When I awoke, I found myself back on land. Saladoria was unrecognizable. Never have come to this backwater planet. A5. My pilot is dead. My valet is dead. No one is responding to my distress signals. I have more money than gods and nowhere to spend it. I must find my way back to the city. I can buy my way off this rock. Lovely. Good to see you're actually... wait... 7, 14, 11? What? There's 11 come after 14. A7. They're all dead. Every last one of them. What a cruel fate left me in this cesspool. Am I the butt of some cosmic joke? Helps to laugh. 15. A13. I've found an industrial detoxifier. Has proven to be my savior. Turns out there are plenty of life forms in this acidic, these acidic waters. Strange mutated things. But edible and not unpleasant to taste. There's no doubt in my mind. I am utterly alone here. 34, 15 to 34. That's a rather big jump, isn't it? Day 34. I found a book of meditations. 
written by Cyclodorian exiles who found salvation in the untrodden corners of the world. He preached the wisdom of silence. The irony is not lost on me. No one to talk to in this dead place. And yet, why do I feel thoughts arising that I'm unfamiliar with? In conversation with this character. Head. Is the audio working fine? Because I was looking at the microphone thing and it kind of looked a little wank wonky when I was reading that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have to turn down my noise gate or not, or if there's actually no issue at all. Day 105. I've just completed my morning ritual. A lean breakfast of detoxed pufferfin, and an hour of renovation to my new home, and meditation until my appetite returns. Very, uh, fulfilling lifestyle, I guess. There's a lot of renovation and meditation, I see. A207. My days in this place are tranquil. They want for nothing. There is a time when a man must transcend it. Send. Transcend his comfort. Brace himself against the friction of the unknown. I will pack my bag with dried fish and seek help. Go further than I've dared to go. Out beyond the ruins of Cyclodoria. Oh, there's more out there. I can see the dimmer. The dimmer. I can see the glimmer of distant, strange lands. I welcome them. My heart is full with the knowledge that I am more resilient today than I was yesterday. I need little to eat, and I can sleep on a hard rock or in a damp cave. All I need is that stranger in my head for company, keeping me on the path. I am ready. Stranger in your head? He you good, bro? He good? I don't think he's good. I don't know who he is, but I think he went round the bend a little. No rest for the wicked, or the void runners. Well, it's a hammock specifically for resting. Please tell me this wasn't your bed. You just found this, right? I've spent much of the last days taking detailed notes on the surrounding architecture. It appears some sort of aquatic or amphibious race lived here. The pools of acid. I am uncertain whether they result from the Ultra Void's alchemy or simply a product of industrial waste from a careless world. I regret we were not the most caring custodians of our own world. I wish we had cared more for our planet while we still had the chance. So many things we could have done differently if given one, two more years together with this new perspective. I suppose all we can do is learn from tragedy and hope there is a future, a chance to be better. Not with greedy politicians locking up a I wish we'd done a lot of things straight. differently. Goes in. Hindsight's 2020. Try and get away with bullshit. They'll try and get away with bullshit. Can't let them have an inch. They'll take a mile. Where am I going? How do I get up there? I feel like there's like a mushroom I can smack that will like give me a road up there. But otherwise, I don't see how the I'm possibly supposed to get up there. I don't see it. I guess I'm just gonna go up here because it's the only way I can know to go. Definitely different. Oh, I almost went on that. That's electrified. I can't go on it yet. Find the old fashioned way before I can do that. Ah. What? It's electrified! Not fair at all. And he just activated it. It's immediately electrified. Yeah. No. That way. There you go. Looks like there's something on the other side of that waterfall. Don't burn me. Oh boy. I didn't think this place was so deep. Geronimo! Whoa! Woo! 
That's how gravity works. Yep. Totally. That. Okay. I'll take it, I guess. Ow. <laughs> Some would call that cheating. I call that taking advantage of a good situation. Wait. Nope. Whee! So cool. I've been in black holes before, but this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The density spikes are so erratic. Can't blame the skipper for a premature landing. This thing is hurtling through the galaxy on a direct collision course with our planet. But Tufty and Pyatt are convinced they have a solution. And I'll take any hope in a time like this. Even a fool's hope. They say they can collapse this whole thing. Render it inert. <laughs> I've gambled on worse odds. At least he doesn't play, blame Welcome, them for Zama. crashing. The odds finally caught up to you. Fortunate. Huh? Down the hall again! Whee! Camera's finally figured out what it's doing. Huh? That should make things easier. Yeah, that way. Huh? Oh, fuck. I didn't hold the button. Fuck off! I know what I'm doing. There we go. Full health. Get out of here, Goombas. Ow. Fuck. Come down here. We progress. Up a hill we couldn't get past before. Help. Not help because we can't get that. Fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Found you. with the team. The last message I received was an incoming transmission from Tufty with dire news. The whole... Well, apparently, it's worth saving. I trust that woman's brain with my life. And if she says it's... then I believe her. It's time to cut our losses. Join the evac squadron before they FTL out of here for good. What? Wait, does that mean that... It's blocked out, so it could be interpreted as she's saying it's worth saving, but maybe it's not worth saving? That it's fucked? That it's broken? Not worth it? That it's cut our losses and get the fuck out? But they couldn't. Why did they try and leave? You missed our chance to get out of here, Gozam. But I can still fix it. I don't know if we can. I have a feeling we're stuck in a loop, too. Oh, we're doing a half-pipe, aren't we? <laughs> that was cool. One's actually on his. It's not on his head, it's on his neck. God damn it. 
Is he gonna have one eye in the good position? Or is he not even gonna have one? Remnants of what? Remnants of past civilizations? Remnants of planets? Remnants of lives? Could be a lot of things. Guess we found all the caches, now all that's left is... Surely this is the place where we find one of the... Oh, fuck. Whoops. I feel like this should be the play one of the places where we find the crew. We haven't found the ship, so maybe not. Uh, it's still covered in electricity. Ow. Did I get up here too quickly and I didn't see all the voice lines? Is there a second one up here? 300 meters, that's not that far. Ah, this power thing has two sides to it. There's gotta be a way up there. That's not it. Maybe on the other side there was a way to fall through. I'll see. I'll see if up the top there where the tower was is actually a different um, way to fall through. Because it never looks down there. Oh fuck! It took me the wrong way! Nope. How the fuck? Nope, it only goes up. Fucking. I was trying to make it go the other way. Nope, that just makes me hit a wall. That's a cave over there. But that's a different cave to the one that I came up here in. No, I've been here. Damn it. Then how the fu How the fuck? How the fuck do you get up there? I'm genuinely lost as how to get around this. Genuinely have no idea. And there's one up there, so I'm not fucking around. There's- I have to be able to get up there and get it. So what am I doing wrong? If I go back, what does the other suit do? Does it mean that I get- does it mean that I'm immune to something? Is getting this suit, if I have to do it plot-wise, affect what it even looks like? I don't know how to get up to the other one either, so I'm basically stuck detected. at this point. Not certainly. Blossom suit. No, it just doubles my attack power. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. That one doesn't look too bad. I still like Ray's and Pyatt's the best. I hate that Pyatt's is good because freaking he's a bit of a dick he's very strange one's up there one's over there there's gotta be something obvious i'm fucking up oh the view neat i don't want to die that's gonna be so embarrassing Shit. Fuck. This is embarrassing. Don't pay no attention. Getting killed by Goombas. How bad is that? That's not going that way. <gasps> Over there. Go. Fuck. Okay, I saw the way. At least to that one. Oh. Well, fine. I guess I'll go the normal way. I bet it's possible to get the, to that one. Bet it's possible. Ah! It's so bad! Oh, fucking... Ugh. It wasn't even worth coming back. I should have kept trying to figure out how to get over that one. I can get over to that. I know I can. Damn it. I fucked up. What I need to do is I need to start off by getting as far as I can in the air before touching it. There we go. Perfect. 
It is right there. I cannot believe it took me so long. I was over here looking this way and I didn't see it. There's even a line of plasma leading to it. And I still missed it. How? I swear I'm blind sometimes. Probably this something obvious the other one. The waters district. Yeah. A lot of falling waters. Too bad it's all toxic. All that's left is certainly a way to put it. In bits. Is that Eider's tower? I should keep an eye out for Ames's crew. Why? We still got two left, and I'm assuming they're both down here. Whoa. Do you think they're in the big shit? Are we all dead? Ames is not going to like this. Yeah, that's uh three out of four dead. <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, toxic gases. A collection of smoking carapaces. Rigid patterns of electrical current have been etched into the shells. Rest in peace, Simithoa Squad. Gotta pay respects every time. Simithoa Squad, failed report. We have crashed into the remains of a capsized ship. Ah. Our generators were damaged in the crash, and we are running low on power. The crew and I are going to climb up these damaged cables to get a better survey of the area. Climbing in the dark is a great way to get everyone killed. So I have sent Private Grimclaw to see if they can reactivate the ship's power drives. This must be one of Ames' away teams. I better let them know what I found. Well, well, they activated the drive and electrocuted the entire team. Right to the Ukelagon. Admiral, I think I've found something. Yeah. Are oh, they? They're, uh, well, fried. <laughs> Great way to put it, Ray. Couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, of course. Our journey has been a long one, and burnout is only natural. Uh, no, li literally fried. As in crispy. No, I mean literally. They seem to have gotten electrocuted by some of the broken ships here. Just says what I'm thinking. I'm sorry, Ames. They're gone. That's truly unfortunate. We in the Maverick fleet sign up to be disposable, so others do not have to. It is never easy That's to be reminded of that. That's fucked. Why would you sign up for that? That's fucked. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Ooh. No one will believe me when I tell them about this place. <laughs> no kidding. Pretty though. I don't think you're gonna be living long enough to tell people about it though, Ray. Hate to be a pessimist. Just how I feel. Fuck! She sounds like she's having fun. I'm having fun. But I'm glad my character is. Oops. But I hit it. Oh, there was two. Ah, uh, I see. God, God damn it. We'll just wait this one out. Get in!
That's again on your back. You still don't have one on your face. Almost done, Sid. And still no one alive. I love the little tweet that happens whenever they die. Very satisfying. Over there's the tower. Let's get over. Fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! All according to plan. Definitely meant to do that. You're on a mo! Almost made it all the way. Oh, there's a way up. Good thing I kept an eye out. Well, way up is a strong word. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh. Okay, so down is not the answer. Grapple point I'm not aware of. I have a feeling that's not the way. That can't, that can't be the way. It's going down. Oh, no. Help! Well, I didn't mean to die there. Oh, there was a grapple point. There. Yep, that checks. And so does that. Get that the way up. I forgot about this. Went one of two ways. Well, I'm just gonna respawn. Oh. oh, I didn't get any sh ah. Good thing I'm not trying for a no death run. Motherfucker. Going down is obviously not the way. Get over here. And no. I was gonna fall down there again. I was gonna be up. I get a shield. There was a shield thing right there, and I died before I could get it. Nailed it. I'm down here. They did say one of them was here, right? Elder's Tower, yeah. So there's this. There is not the way up. Or just this. Right here. I'm so blind. I'm looking in all the wrong places to find the way forward. Well, I started to find a team. Bits of them. Well, there's a whole one. Not in great shape either, though. We crashed right into the tower. None of them made it. Rushed by their own ship. The survivors. Not your squad, field report. Our ship has become wet into Ida's tower of pleasure. By some incredible stroke of good fortune, we seem to have landed in a massive pile of pillows, which cushioned our fall. I think if we all work together, we can use our strength to lift the ship over our heads long enough to unwedge it and fly out of that ship! <laughs> Oh my god. Looks like an away team. I should let Ames know. Oh, that's tragic. Ray right to Ames, Ray right to Ames. I found Nathia squad. You'll never guess what happened. Death by sneeze. Just tell me. Dead. It seems like they were crushed by their own ship. Curse this bastard void! Wow, surge of emotion. Finally. It is our duty to ensure that their sacrifices were not in vain. And how do you intend to do that, buddy? From the middle of the Ultra Void. <clears throat> All right. Almost got it. Got what? Your sanity? Ames, are you there? Uh, thanks for your efforts. I've triangulated the position my away teams were converging on. The signal is coming from under the Senate Pavilion. The first citizen, in their wisdom, must have built a bunker to keep all Cyclodorians safe. Oh yeah, I found that. Did, did you want me to tell you that? Sorry. Rest easy, Nathia squad. 
Maybe thanks to all of them. Rest easy. You're all fucking dead. Every single one of you. There must be an entrance that's all nearby. Yeah. I found it. Bitch locked herself in. And then threw away the key. Damn it. Please tell me that my progress was saved. Oh, thank God. Suddenly, shields are hard to come by. Fuck! The delay between finishing the combo and starting a new one is long. You're better off interrupting a combo than trying to wait for the next one. Oops, 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 oops. I know how to play the game, I'm just being dumb. We got it. We go to the Senate Pavilion first? Yeah, we should go to the Senate Pavilion first. And then we'll go to the last one up there. Well, at least we'll try, because we don't know how to get there. But there's probably some dumb little grapple or black stuff that we just completely missed, because we're blind. Bull shields! Mostly to the vault that Ames mentioned. Yeah, we've been here already. What? Ames? Was that you? Well, it's been opened. They're gone. There's gold everywhere. Too bad I'm not greedy. Ames' crew. Looks like some of them managed to survive and made their way here. First citizen, Pertinax. Why are you in this room filled with greed? Yeah, that's right. He said that she was supposed to be free of greed. My away team. Murdered. Why? For what? Greed. It looks like Pertinax had some secrets. I'm sorry, Ames. People aren't always who they say they are. You think I can't see that? You think I'd never heard the rumors? I sent my crew to their graves. They trusted me. And I let them die. Well, intentions mistakes hurt the most. It all happened so fast. Pertinax shot them without a shred of guilt, and I unholstered my pistol. I ended the Cyclodorian Empire. That's something I can never forget, and yet I'd already seen it in every dream I've had since entering this place. Been here before. Forgot. The void made you forget, and you've been here over and over again, reliving your greatest mistake, and your empire's greatest mistake, too. Sometimes people panic when they think they have no other choice, and they do things they regret. This is more than a one decision that led to this. No. It's this place. It must have done this to me, to the first citizen. This place corrupts everything. My people, all lost to this cursed void. I think the first citizen no. was like this. It's this place. It must have done this to me, to the first citizen. Why is he saying it again? This place corrupts everything. My people, all lost to this cursed void. I think the first citizen was like this well before. Got here. No. I did everything I could for the Empire. I would send a thousand more to their deaths if it meant I could save my kingdom. But you didn't. Kingdom's dead. Inside the void. You're the only one left, mate. This is no place to live. You should get out of here if you can. Yes, save the Empire. That's what we must do. 
tell Yeoman Roe and Grimclaw to ready the away teams. Oh god, he's starting the loop again and he hasn't even left yet. They're both dead. Dude. I guess money is money, wherever you go. I need a moment to collect myself. There is much planning to do. Dude. First citizen, Pertinax, shot dead. They protected their lies to the bitter end. Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is very on the nose, isn't it? Saved, but they'd had a leader who cared about their people. Oh yeah, I wonder. Jesus Christ! This is a little bit blatant, isn't it? Holy shit. Present day commentary, anyone? The parallels are clear and obvious to anyone with half a brain. You don't even need a full brain to see it. That went well better than expected. I was, very, I was very quick. Going down that slope may be super fast. I'm here to upgrade my shield, please. Hell yeah. I'll get you back online, Sid. They're fully repaired. Full power to shields. Nailed it. All right, now up there to fucking however. I'm supposed to beat that thing. I don't even know how to get to it. Fucking. So, if it's not activated, it doesn't kill you. I either didn't realize or forgot that little tidbit. Got it. So it wasn't as hard as I thought. I just was dumb. Phew. Not bad. Should be easier to get back this way. I mean, that's what I thought. But I didn't mean it to be... I didn't think it would be that... Fucking obvious. Ow. Oh, I thought I could get it without getting toxified. Grin and bear it. Smack. We got it. First one's down there. Ah. Push it on the way up. Not quick enough. There we go. That was good. Oh, now the Colossus is waking up. Ah, finally! It has an eye on its face! One! Massive anomaly, that's what they're called. Rust Dragger. It's holding a giant piece of a ship. 
as a sword. There he is. There is the boy. Hello. Oh, I can't jump all the way down. Gravity's too fucky wucky. Jeez, imagine trying to fly a ship in this thing. Like, God. I'm trying to navigate all this gravity that we're just running through and using normally. That would be damn impossible. This goes everywhere. Oh, we're so gonna die so many times. Somewhere. Over there. He's cranky. We got it. Now he's gonna climb up his sword. Shit. Now his sword's all the way over there. Oh hey! Because he's gotten up, there's the platforms are revealed. It's a bit easier to get around now. Good, because I thought I was gonna die so many times trying to not get poisoned. Up the sword! Fine, we'll be fine. But damn, he's turning around. Oh god, death, stop turning around! Damn it. You got me while I was in the time slip. Ah, oh, now I'm too far away. There we go. You can get it from ages away. Going up his sword. And now up his arm. And now onto his shoulder. And now into his chest. Got him. Ooh. That looked like I hurt, buddy. I'm sure he's about to show us. I don't think he's even swung that thing yet. Uh oh. He missed. Oh shit. God damn it, that was close. Woo -hoo! Fell a long way for that one. Ow. Oh, Jesus, I thought I didn't get that one. That was very close. Come on, Rust Dragger. Drag harder. Sounds like it's in pain. Yeah, it does. It's got a skull on its head. Oh, don't stab. No stab. 
why the nose stabbing? I thought I'd absolutely be going up his leg. Turns out, nope. Oh, we missed again. Oh, I'm on a rail. Oh, this is cool. Damn it. Oh, do it again. Come on, this is so cool. Get it. Slice. Hell yeah. So cool. Oh, why is the music so mournful? Damn it. Ran out of time. That one wasn't easy to get. Oh, controller. Controller, please. Well, running up this giant beast sword is so awesome. I thought the last one would be going up its leg, not skating up its sword. Ah, oh, god damn it. I didn't boost. I meant to, but every time I did it, I was in the air. His eyes in his forehead, it's not even in the skull sockets. He's nowhere near hitting me with those attacks. The camera work on these is so good. If I didn't jump, I would have made it. Damn it. I was dumb and I jumped. That was almost wasn't viable. We got this. We got it. We got him. Woo! Time to visit Echo again. You gotta explain anything this time, or you're just gonna crush me. Why don't you just go get it over with? Huh? The light in your eyes. Insufferable. I wish I could snuff it out. Give it a try. You've given it a try a couple of times already. I told you I'm not your enemy, Echo. I don't want to hurt you. I agree with that sentiment. But I think it's... I'm speaking to a brick wall at this point. You would tear me apart. But I thought, she's the super void, the ultra void. How can you know what will happen? 
you are not the first to try, nor the first to torment me. What other choice is there? The Starseed is the only shot my world has. <laughs> if only that were true. I know how you fail people. What? You can't save anyone, not even yourself. That hurts. That hurts. Fuck you. Ah! God damn it. Took so much work to get that one. Seeing him lie there. Bell's still there. Ah. Hey, Sid. Gray, the Star Seed is nearly operational. More of our memories are also coming online. We are trying to make sense of them. Tell me something I'll like. Someone set the Star Seed's energy capacitors into an overloaded state. Readings indicate void signatures far greater than targeted operating limits. I can guess who did that. What does that mean? Can we fix it? It doesn't look good, Ray. Activating the star seed now would be highly dangerous. We can no longer predictably collapse the ultra void in order to release our planet from its pull. Our only option is to shut the star seed down entirely. No. We came this far. Said, why would someone do this? Perhaps our memory logs are damaged, but it appears they were attempting to use the star seed to modify the fabric of space-time itself. So alter space-time? Is that possible? Could we reverse time if we activate the star seed now? Theoretically, yes. But the calculations required to... You're a Yonabite computer! ...the chance to put things back to the way they were, before the Ultra Void, before all of this. We have to take it. We know you have the best intentions, but you would risk creating an irreparable schism in our reality. We fear there would be terrible repercussions if performed incorrectly. That's why you're doing the calculations, Sid. Ray, we insist. I want it done. That's an order. I, it feels wrong. It feels like we're doing the wrong thing now. It was just saving our planet. Now we're trying to save all the planets at the cost of the universe. In the cost of fucking space time. That feels wrong. Very well. Beginning Starseed Attunement Protocol. Just spoke to Echo. This. This is why she's pissed off at you. Processing photon amplitude assessment. Assessment complete. Processing temporal condition assessment. Processing temporal conditions. Processing. Processing. Yeah, that's not great. Sid. No, don't tell me. Critical systems offline. Terminal calculation. Please try again later. Ow. Yeah, the calculations are too mind-bending for the computer. They, they can't... It, it just sets them in a loop. What? No, no, Sid! Oh, we're so close! Critical system all time. Terminal calculation move. Please try again later. I have to keep moving forward, Sid. I'm sorry. You crashed, Sid! Are you happy now? Let's get you back online. Clinical systems offline. Booting into emergency services. Sid, are you still in there? Please, you can stop. I'm sorry. Very well. Terminal calculation loop. Very well. Star seed attunement protocol. Very well. Terminal calculation loop. Very well. Processing temporal condition assessment. Very well. Terminal calculation loop. How can we 
Ow. I'll get you back on the Ow, line. my heart. B did this to them. They're in an infinite loop of calculation. We were in the right by trying to stop them, but ripping a hole in space time? I mean, we both, we all know this has been done once before already. Critical systems offline. Booting into emergency. I'll get you back online, Sid. Yeah. No wonder Echo's pissed at us. Like, surely. Actually, we probably did agree. Now that I've seen her do that stuff, we probably did agree. It was probably Pite's idea, but everyone probably agreed to it. Seeing it is the only way and trying to save all of the rest of these worlds, not just our own. Doing so royally fucked space time to the point that we are where we are now. That's my running theory. What's the next area we're going to? This will be the lava place. Planet's definitely closer. I swear it is. I'm I've half a mind to check the footage from the first stream and see. This must be where the rest of Arx elders live. Yeah, the the lava. Pages torn from a journal. Another planet grows larger. First it was a speck, but now I can make out where land and water meet. I cannot bear to see the death of another world. It may be the natural law here, but watching life and death on such a scale is the duty of gods, not a simple Garuki. The gardener told me to meet him at the Crystal Palace if I ever wanted to take the panacea. It's a treacherous journey. I will swallow the fear. With each step, I know I'm on the right path. Paragon Dandipaws. Paragon Dandipaws. I hope he's not dead. I hope he's not dead and I can meet him. I have a feeling he is, though, just like everyone else here. This place is just so dead. Of any sentient life, at least. Hot. Hot like me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Now we get to see what that big structure we saw in the distance at the very beginning of the game was. The one that really caught my eye. So who are we gonna meet this time as the, uh, the Void Runner caches? Whose death are we gonna see this time? Because we all know they're dead. There's no way they survived while everyone else died. You're in, I have no idea why I survived while everyone else died, but I have a feeling that I'm the only one. The Luminous Peak. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, cool! Look at its face. That's the only thing standing in my way. Say it like that, you don't sound like the good guy. Anyone who's played Undertale and got even even watched part of a genocide run would know that standing in my way is not something the good guys say. Killing only because they stand in your way. Yep. Not the good guy thing. Well, we haven't found the corpse yet. We can live in hope they might still be alive. Who are we meeting? The scientist girl who helped with all this? Tuft, yes! It seems I've drawn the 
short straw, and I must now traverse these lava flows to find a suitable calibration point for the starseed conduit. I like a voice. My hazard suit ensured I was the only viable candidate. Scans indicate this area was formed from two distinct planets. One made of molten pyroxenes, the other even stranger. It appears to be an ultra-dense crust comprised of nearly every scientifically known compound. The heat drives these fungi wild, and there are plenty of nutrients in the soil to propel their growth. If I had more time, I'm sure I could learn something useful for our agriculture back home. Hell yeah. Tuft. I've been looking forward to her. having a field day looking through this place. Now I just need to find her. I don't like our chances. Honestly. I hope we find her too, but... You like hell, it's gonna be... She's still gonna be alive. Everyone else is dead. Everybody is dead. Yeah, <laughs> that I left behind was cool. Must be the Crystal Palace Arc mentioned, but it's sealed shut. Better come back later. Mm. But I figured. There. Get over there. Nope. Oops. I don't see anywhere else to go. Did I go the wrong way? Am I dumb and there's another whole way I could have gone? Well, Houston. Hit a dead end again. Oh, wait. Is this. Yeah, that's the one I'm supposed to. Okay. I got it. I saw it. I'm dumb. I saw it. What? Did it run out? There we go. Wonder if there's gonna be a new enemy in this area. How? Use this combination of all the other areas areas. Shit. These mushrooms are new. You know that how. What? Oh, I thought I might have been able to walk up it. Oh. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. Stabby, stabby. Hey, it's got an eye where its eye is supposed to be. That's a first. The first thing used to have, at least. The Colossus had, like, Can't one big to eye. But Not... I need to restore signal to the conduit in this sector. It had it on its head, but it wasn't really where its eye was supposed to be. Yeah. You know? We took it anyway. This one actually has an eye where supposed to be. Willing to bet that its other eye is not going to be on the other side of its head. There it is up there. Hello? Shortcut! Yeah. Absolutely will. Ow. 
Oh yeah. There's no way I'm going over there. Not from here at least. Gotta go around the other side. I considered trying to jump and there was like, there's no way. Way too far. Maybe speedrunners with like wall clipping jumps or some shit, maybe. Not legit. Hit it! Where's the bird? To run away. Too scared by my maneuvers. Oh, down here. Down here's a cache. Ah, oh, it's this one. Hell yeah. Talk to me, Tuff. I found the most spectacular library filled with cultural volumes beyond comprehension. A catalog of ancient lore and artifacts from across the galaxy. If only the Academy could witness this font of knowledge, we could answer the greatest scientific puzzles known to this world. It is unfortunate we will not have time to index these. The calibrations of the star seed are too fragile to leave any room for imprecision. to scan a few things before moving on, Tufty. Now, where did you go? Great question. Tufty. I love that name. Tufty. Sounds like a comedic relief character more than a, like, the main lead scientist. Names come in all shapes and sizes. Doesn't, uh, always connect how good the people are. Tufty. Try. Did it. Should be easier to get back this way. You can go up here. This guy. Oh, right here. <laughs> Nailed it. Biggest puzzle. Hardest. Dead. Please, please tell me this gives you more processing power. Calculation. Damn it. Broke her. I broke her. No. I'll find a way to get you back online. Hang in there, Sid. Damn it. How could I break her like that? Caves surrounded by ancient bones found that near a lake of lava on the side. Lake of lava. Top of lava ball. Network interference detected. Loading emergency service. Sid, are you still in there? Very well, German. Very well, German. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. Not there. Well, if that means we killed our best friend, that's gonna make me sad. We paradox loop our only friend and kill them. Nice. Hi. It was bad enough seeing these in Ark's hovel. Ooh, hanging them from the ceiling doesn't help. Yep, really doesn't. Poem by Arik, titled Rare. Elders of Spore and Mildew. Help us see that without spores, the mildew would not be. Huh. Rather short one, that. Umbra Elder. Time to use the spore song. I'm pretty sure I remember it. Elders who dream in crepuscular part the eternal. And elders who dream in crepuscular infinity part the eternal veil. And enlighten me. You think I'd have more confidence at this point because I've done it twice? I am the tender of the garden. 
I died 4,291 cycles ago. Strangled by ethereal vines. I am Umbra. Hey, you're basically the middle child. The other dude wasn't... was much older. Ah, sweet Oric. Gentle Umbra, fellow gardener. Your love of life is your curse. Oh, come on! I too once was deceived by the mirage that is living. Living is not freaking a curse. Loving life is not a curse. Fuck you! Take heed of my warning. Our life's purpose is to cultivate the dead. Only in the eternal garden can souls find lasting purpose. Join us now, or be cast out for eternity. I guess they're mushroom people that come from death. So I guess it kind of makes sense, but still fuck you! A seedy plot. You are not Auric. An abomination. Fuck you too. Something outside of life. A blight on the garden. I'm not outside of life, Your I'm alive. Ancient I call offends our senses. Be gone. You appreciate that I don't knock your block off. Has a planet ever survived the void? My world is on a collision course with this place. Has a planet ever survived an impact? It's a black like hole. Like hell has ever been a planet that survived. Survival isn't everything, Biotic. All lives ended in the void will have a place in the eternal garden. Let us assure you, there is nothing to fear in death. Well, disagree. That doesn't help me at all. My people don't have to die, please. They grow gardens in my world too. It'll all turn to ash if I can't stop it. A poisonous aura chokes this place when you speak. The Hyphaic wither. The little mushrooms have seen you, and they wither in dread. You are the bearer of Null. You have been removed from the sacred cycle, and are not fit to nurture the living or the dead. Outside of life and... Please go. I must see to the little ones. Great. So helpful as usual. Whatever plant these roots are from must be hardy. It's growing right next to the lava. Yeah. Very strong plants. Big buff Cheeto plants. Oops. I said. Don't mind me. Well, you're in an endless calculation loop, so you probably wouldn't mind me even if I didn't say that. So. Sorry again. My bad. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Pop! Oh, oh I get okay. Why do I even need to get up there? My shields are full. Got it. Ha, I use the enemies to get to you faster. Get fucked. Speed run strats. That's not your face. That's your wing.
One less ooze, one step closer to restoring Sid. Yeah, I don't even care about saving the planet at this point. I want to save Sid more than anything. I want to fix my fuck up. Yep, there it is. No, tough. Oh. Hyatt has convinced the rookie that there is a way out of this. That the overloaded with energy will return every it was. I fear he's not entirely wrong. I've long theorized that the star seed could produce a cataclysmic space-time event if calibrated incorrectly. What Pyatt is suggesting is not only but threatens all existence throughout the galaxy and beyond. I I programmed a manual override in the star seed. Thought that leaving all of our lives in the hands of an AI was fun. Was fun. It appears I was wrong. Sid never would have made a mistake like this. Death is coming. No one will be saved. The universe is a cold, unjust place. Nothing left to do but wait for it to take us all. He programmed a manual override to the star scene. Foolhardy, maybe? I don't know what to think of that. Did... Tufty, I hope you were wrong. Because I don't really have any other choice. I have a feeling we've already done it. But that's why everyone is like this. The feeling that we're going in this endless cycle of destroying the universe over and over. Till we learn our fucking lesson and stop. Just deactivate the black hole. Don't rip a hole and destroy the bloody universe. How do I get up to the giant ball? Whoops. How do we get up there? Nailed it. I think there's a way up here. Didn't notice. Well, I say we, but it's me. I'm the one who's half blind. Not literally, figuratively. I miss things that are right in front of me. Not due to actual blindness, but lack of observance. Close as you can get. I can guess without losing an eye. Oh. God damn it. No, I thought there would be something there. I don't think there is. No, oh, there's nothing here. Maybe a leap of faith over there. Which I certainly ain't taken. This way. Yeah, I haven't been this way yet. Whoa, 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 bitch. What is that shield? Oh. Got it. Almost didn't. It's always so close. That's not your face either. It's your chest. Place your bets. I, I bet that thing down. none of them will be on their face other than the first one. I bet there's only one that makes it on their face. Shield cells anywhere. I'm really being sparse with them now. Not really. I mean, kinda. Fuck. Pretend that didn't happen. I got killed by the floor spikes.
Got it. And now we're safe. Or at least one hit. Yeah, you're just there. Wait, is he looking at me? He is. Unsettling. But not unexpected. always so embarrassing when I get hurt by a Goomba. Every time. It doesn't get less bad. Did it. I saw you. You hide from me, Goomba. Fuck! Get stuck. Can't get him. You gotta go the long way around. Damn it. Fucking. I have to kill that thing. I have to. But how am I supposed to get across the thing? For some reason, I start running on it instead of climbing. Like, I climb here, fine. But here, I start running. God damn it. I think it's supposed to walk. Stop, motherfucker! You ain't so tough. Not when I can actually hit you. Limitless void energy is nothing compared to you. I mean, you are nothing to limitless void energy. Why I never run out of power here? Because I'm in the void, surrounded by it. Some would say, consumed by it. I feel like I missed something. Oh, yep, wow, okay. This is the way forward, yep, up the tower. <laughs> oh. Uh. Ow? Oh shit. Shit. This is definitely how gravity works. No one question it. If you question it, it stops working and I fall. It works on power of belief. You gotta believe it works. Yeah, that's what I thought. Too late, Tufty. I'll fix this. No. 
The longer this goes on, the more I'm feeling like you're in heavy, heavy denial. I don't think How we can... How can anything survive this heat? Three. I think you're in massive denial, and I do not think we can fix this. I think we're skating. fucked. Fuck! Did I get- I got turned around. Where are we? Oh, here we are. Just keep skating. Just keep sk- Ow! Just keep skating. Just keep skating, skating, skating. What do we do? We keep skating. Flash! Just sliding around this giant lava ball. No big deal. This the Elder's place? Kinda looks like it. I think up there is the Elder's place. In the tower, probably. Prepare to be wrong, though. Oh boy, how are we gonna get all of these? There's no way! So many of them. Ow. Stop getting caught. I think we only had one more after those. After that one. I think we could have done it. As long as we stop getting caught on the stuff, we can do it. God damn, it's right there! Fuck. Yeah, we got it! Damn it. That was really hard. That's still not your face. Just hang in there, Sid. I'm doing everything I can. I hope Sid comes back. I hope we haven't killed it for good. Fuck! Don't, don't pay attention to that. That was really bad. Don't fuck up. Again. Don't fuck up again. Fuck yeah. I didn't 
I didn't react fast enough. Enough for the, the fifth shield slot. It won't help much because I have no shield punishing things around. Ow! Bitch! Freaking birds! You've done more damage to me than every other. than even bosses have done. All of those, like, little birds combined have done more damage to me than any boss. Oh, well. Try it again. Keep skating. Got it. Now we have full shields again. Now we're safe. We're okay. Hold on, Tuff. Give me some useful information. Something hopeful. My task is complete. The conduit is assembled, but hope evades me. God damn it. The star seed can only reverse the physical properties of the ultra void. I fear time itself is now the enemy of our people. And the window has passed. There will never be another sunrise on the shores of Barrows. Every blade of grass weighed heavy by condensation evaporated. Every musical reverberation muted. My love, Lyra, you and our daughter will fade into the night as cosmic dust. I should have stayed home to enjoy the last few days we had left. What a fool I was to come here. Aww. I think it sounds like a girl's name, too. But they're gay. God damn it, Tuft! Damn it! You did it for them, Tufty. I'm gonna make sure they still have a chance. Tufty. Why'd you have to die? You left your wife and daughter dead. Without you. To die, I mean. They were gonna die anyway, but like, you left them to do it without you. I'm sure they would have preferred you to be there if it was really pointless. What do you fucking do? There's broken ship over there. I guess this ball of lava is the thing we were seeing at the start of the game. Damn. That was cool. Where are we now? Don't fall into the sky. I have a feeling it wouldn't take us out of the black hole. It would just kill us. Dodged. Whoops. Almost fell into the void. No, you don't. This is the thing. This is the thing that we saw from space. It's from space, from the star seed. The very beginning. The thing that looks like the head of a giant beast. Who knew it was a place we would actually walk on? Not something that would fight. I still don't know what those are. This is the eldest place, isn't it? This is not junk! 
The dramatized retelling of a crew of intergalactic pirates who pillaged black holes for untold treasures. They called themselves the Black Hole Buccaneers. Cool. Catalog of nautical themed medallions and their prizes. A book about stuffed yellow bear with a red scarf named Lancel. Um, I think you mean a yellow bear with a red shirt named Winnie the Pooh. Um, by Arik, titled Bearer of Null. Break free this mold. Lone, flattened from careless repetition. Who they think we are? Player in the dream of the long dead theater. Trapped in final utterance. Life slips away. They're talking about us. Our planet's already dead, isn't it? planet must already be dead. We can see it in the sky, but everyone else saw their loved ones and saw their various hallucinations in the loops they're in. Makes us any different. We're stuck in a loop too. Stuck in a loop. Our, our world is already long dead. Manual for an extremely pedantic maze game. A quote from the creator describes the experience as a love letter to the fans of Tystro postal stamps. What? A love letter to stamps? A collection of letters from a mourning father to his deceased son, the lector. Aww. Self published tome. Everything in the world you ever cared about is all right here. And other nuggets, the collector. Book that details the different eras of historical dress for marine life. Historical dress for marine life? I hope you had sentient fish people and not just were putting frickin' rando fish in rando non sentient fish in suits. A collection of short stories about a builder. Who continually has accidents with their electrical tools. What, like Bob the Builder? Can we fix it? The book goes into great detail about the various grunting sounds made by the protagonist. Oh, it's... It's Bob the Builder smut. Great. A novel about an ex-military investigator. They threaten to beat their enemies to death and drink their blood from a boot. Oh, lovely. It's noted the book was so popular on its planet that children would incessantly shout, I'll drink your blood from a boot! at each other. This eventually led to a worldwide ban on all footwear except sandals, which were deemed unsuitable as a blood quaffing device. Great. Sounds like a lovely person. The room is extremely hot and humid, but the streams of lava provide ample weeding light. Hey! Do you hate us too? I think he hates us too. Bet. This must be one of the Umbra Elders. Better use the chant Art gave me. Do you remember it? We've done this three other times. Damn it. Elders who dream in crepuscular part the it and Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity part the eternal veil and enlighten me! Wow, she sounds so confident in that one. She actually knows it, and she's like, yeah! I am the collector of the missing. Oh, baby! I died 601 cycles Only ago. Only 601? Oh, baby. In a tome. I am Umbra. One acolyte, Auric, remains apart from the Umbra when they are long past due. Joining us. Stop asking him to die, please. My celium records indicate you have only managed to bring one lost soul into the eternal cycle during your time amongst the living. A garden must not only be well tended, but full of diverse life forms, Auric. Wait. Something else. I detect another soul. You are not Auric. Surprise! I got boobs. The voices in my ears whisper 
that you are not what you seem. What the void divided shall no Umbra unite. How cryptic, incomplete, and pointlessly poetic. I know, right? Such are the voices of timeless beings, but I have never known them to be absent a kernel of truth. You shall find no more help here. God damn it! I need to know if any other Void Runners are alive. I can tell you that already. Oh, we suppose we could do one favor for a biotic with such an aura of guilt and desperation. We keep fastidious records of all biotic visitors. Let me consult them for you. How fascinatingly dreadful. Another traveler bore the same burden as you. Was it me? It seems they had brushed off our aid in favor of attempting to rekindle the light of a dead star. Where are they now? I'm afraid I don't know, dear stranger. I fear endless life makes my kind into hysterical historians. I must exhaust the last of my hospitality to tell you to leave. Your soul is not fit for collecting. You had better see to that to ensure your place in the Eternal Garden. Called me a bitch. Did you hear that? I think that was all of the Elders. I should go find the Antecedent. Pretty sure Art mentioned a Crystal Palace. Well, unworthy. Close enough. Tufty would have loved spending time with these tablets. Oh, I bet. There should be one more Tufty log. Final one. <coughs> Pardon me. Where's that last Tufty record? It's up here? Cool. Good to know. Oh, it's right here. Well, I was gonna say too easy for the last one, and then they started shooting lasers at me. Good to know they have a sense of humor. Ow! All oh, these bastards are everywhere. Ow! One down. Damn it! There's so many enemies here. Oh boy. I gotta deal with these bitches. Oh boy. Fuck off! That means you too. Shit. Is that all of them? I think that was all of them. Alright, now to take out the big beast. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, I gotta follow the thingamajig and I didn't do that. Come well, get on it. You didn't... You didn't get... You're supposed to skate. Why didn't you skate along it? Isn't that what it's supposed to do? I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. What the fuck? You didn't grab it? 
Okay, I went straight through it that time. It's insubstantial. Never mind. It's wrong. I was wrong. Let's go listen to Tufty to soothe my ego. Runner stashes when scanned. Well, too bad. I've just collected the last one, eh? You tried to destroy the star seed? Is that what happened here? Actually, I don't need to ask why. I know exactly why. To protect the rest of the universe. Give this one more try. Why am I going sideways? Go up! Where the fuck? I didn't see where the other one was. Now we're going up. Damn it. All I needed to do was turn around and jump. I didn't need to do any of that fancy nonsense. And that one. And just jump to it. Just jump to it. Just jump to it. Just take. Just, 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 just fucking god damn it. We got this. We know we can do it. Oh, fuck. That one I could have warped to. I think that one was the one I could... Well, not warp. Gra uh, grapple. I could have grappled to that one. What if we all didn't react quick enough? We got it! Stab in the eye, right in the pupil. Wake up, giant bird. Wake up and smell the void. Why is this taking so long? Don't crash, please. Well, we got a second one on its head, but it wasn't on the other side of its head. It was on the same side. The burning hunter. Back to the Crystal Palace. Such a monument. Such a landmark that I did not expect to be a place I could go. I thought it was an enemy I'd be fighting in the end game. Who could have predicted? It's just you and me now. Come and get me! Where is he? 
There he is. Um, I kind of want to talk to the the elder first. Shit. Woo! I heard some sort of blow explosions. That's probably nothing, right? Just them shooting fireballs. Or a laser. One or the other. Hey, don't mind all the explosions outside. Nothing's happening. We're all fine. Detailed schematics for a matter collapsing device. Ancient journals of a cosmic racer who took a shortcut and was trapped in the Ultra Void. Her writings indicate she befriended a warm and caring Umbra steward named. Uh. Garlak. He describes a fulfilling emotional bond with Garlak that she never found in her own species. He helped her repair a ship, return home. A footnote at the bottom of the page. I shall never seek another companion. None can compare to my racer from the stars. From the Ultra Void? Like hell. A collection of unsent letters. Written post mortem by Deleka. Delecta. Post mortem, I guess they were a Umbra. A collection of puzzles about predators, prey, fodder, and river crossings. Are you. No. Born from a journal. I take the rights with me. My friend has shown me there was nothing to be afraid of in passing over to the next life. I knew you wouldn't be alive, but it hurts nonetheless. Damn it! A detailed list of the dead and living biotics from various planets that have entered the Ultra Void. According to the records, not all planets are destroyed on impact. A brief history of dull dentistry. Lovely. Dull dentistry. The story of an entrepreneur who attempted to hide stolen profits in the Ultra Void. When he realized his ship wasn't capable of leaving the Ultra Void, he sent out a beacon, issuing his surrender. Except he probably was never recovered. The Black Hole, after all. A catalog of various gadgets that consumers can purchase while traveling through the cosmos. Uh huh. Booklet of extremely rare Tysteru postal stamps. Most of these were destroyed in, by the Thurnon's Taxis post. This book tells the story of a goblin sovereign who kidnapped children and held them captive in a large maze. List of the deadliest puppets. Deadliest puppets? Chucky's probably in there. The long dead traveler's theories on the origins of the dross. Theory one. The Dross are an ancient parasitic life form that can survive indefinitely in the vacuum of space, drifting from planet to planet, destroying all biotics in their wake. Theory 2 The Dross belong to a hive mind. Following the bidding of a treacherous matriarch, they are hails from a belighted planet. Theory 3 The Dross travel to populated sectors of the universe through wormholes in order to feed on biotic life forms every few millennia. Theory 4 the Dross are war machines that turned on their creators and annihilated them, and now seek biotics to use as living batteries to power their offspring. I like the Matrix. Who knows what, whether any of those are true? I didn't read the first one, I thought I'd read this already. Scientific journal published by an advanced terrestrial race. One editorial theorizes about the next evolution of faster than light technology that may lead to interdimensional travel. Another article details a recently discovered technology that combines matter and antimatter 
to a supercharged energy source. Research on this technology has been banned from the solar system due to its highly unstable nature. So Void Tech, we're dealing with illegal experimental technology. Great! I love it. Poem by Eric. To my children who grow up tall and create cool shade for the very small. From gills that launch ballista spores and coat the nourished garden floors. From which the hyphae flex so proud and build a wall of umbral shroud. Beneath my toes the carrion crawl. Amidst my garden, I love them all. Ah. Huh. Huh. What? Eric. Did you submit it in the end after all? He completed the ritual. It really seemed like he wanted to live. Eric. I didn't know you well. But no one should be forced to die before they're ready. Not even in the Eternal Garden. I'm sorry. I agree. Wait, you're alive? You are? Oh my god, he's alive! I couldn't finish the ritual. I couldn't go through with it. Good! You heard what I just said, right? No one should die before they're ready. Don't force yourself. Live your life. I couldn't bring myself to speak to the antecedent. The first elder. That's the antecedent? Really? I'll talk to them. Fine. We made it this far. I'll tell the antecedent you're not dying today. Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity, part the eternal veil and enlighten me. Ah, the swirling is back. This time with a visitor. Hey, the the antecedent noticed me. For the first time I've been noticed as a person who's not Eric, like immediately. They know I'm not Eric. Sporling. Your heart decays. Your duty untended. Purpose unfulfilled. You dare not die. Yet life eludes you still. Oh, whoa! You press the fibers of my core! Cravenly. I shirk my duty. I, I break the eternal cycle. The natural law. Dude, 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 settle, settle. You're indoctrinated. Shush. Silence. There is no taboo in a life lived. Only a life left to waste in wrath. Oh. This is why we offer a cure to lost and tortured souls void swept no future we grant them growth through death a new life among the mycelium ah does your cure work on remnants does your cure work on remnants wanderer lost soul you seek hope yet you pursue despair would you find the light in such dark and desperate desolation? I want to find a light of hope somewhere in this dark void. I... I'm not sure I follow. Yeah, I didn't really follow either. I just kind of said what I'm looking for. Obsession is a poison that leeches into the roots of the world itself. Do not taint the garden any more than you already have. Huh. And you, spoiling. Yes? The other elders found growth through the ritual. 
They believe you are stunted. But the mycelium network sees all. A life so small, looked down upon by all who came before. I cannot bear it. I can be so much more. No matter how many times you trick this pilgrimage, you are not ready. You are not done with life yet. No, you are mistaken, First Elder. I have never been here before. Yeah, you have. The mycelium sees through the illusion you have found yourself trapped in. I fear your reality has become as porous as the mossy soil you tend. Go now. Commit to your path. And fate will find you. Huh. They say I'm obsessed. They imply that I'm stuck in the loop like they are. Leave us. We must draw energies for the road ahead. <laughs> Arig, it doesn't seem like the elders want you to join them. And the Ultra Void is no place to live, even for you. I don't know if you noticed, but it's hell out there. You wouldn't understand. This is my sacred duty. Please, leave me be. Isn't all this groveling a bit selfish? It's not helping anyone. Meet me at the Star Seed at the center of the Ultra Void, and maybe we can get out of here. You can grow gardens on new planets. A biotic's fate is to live and die, but mine is to ensure the fate of all living things that came before and will come after. I have no home other than this place. Please, just go. I must keep trying. You don't get it. I'm going to destroy this place. There won't be a cycle left to tend to. Even the most powerful biotic is but a flicker in the cycle. It cannot be destroyed, such as you say. And I have a feeling he's right. Will Arik be okay? He seems really shaken. The ritual is not sacred because of the cycle. Life and death alone have no meaning. Growth is sacred. Lives live better than the last. Umbra have always known this. Well, you seem to know it. I don't know about the other elders. Our world has changed, but he is still drawn to gardening, to poetry, to life. So long as he continues to grow and better our world, he will remain. Be on your way, heretic. Heretic? You will find your path, or your path will find you. Uh. The cycle, I must return to. So, you're not giving this up? I belong with the elders. Leave us. We must draw energies for the road ahead. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go fight the final one. Let's see if we can. What did the antecedent mean by illusion? Has Ark been on this pilgrimage before? He may be from the Ultra Void, but he's trapped too. Hmm. How do I get up to it? I'm down here, you fuck. Fuck. Wait. Well, I'm here. Interference detected. Loading emergency. Let's have a look at the other suit. What does Tufts look like? I'll get you back online, Sid. Ooh. Ooh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Whoops. Kind of looks not bad. But I'm detected. gonna finish the game in my suit. How can we help you? We'll get you 
back online, Sid. Begin as we started. Cool as fuck. We'll end as we started, I mean. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go. Ah! No. Jet. Almost. Time it better. Come on, come back, you fuck. Oh. All right, buddy. Still wasn't high enough. I'm supposed to use the smokestacks. There's nothing on them to hit. I'm not high enough. Oh, I almost got in their wing. Do I need to be on another smokestack? This is the highest one I know. Maybe over there. Alright, let's go. Try this one. It's still they're so far away! Nowhere. Where is the weak point? I don't know. I do not know. Like I'm not even close to high enough. Is it on their back? Is the first one on their back or something? What does this game want from me? It says use the smokestacks, and that's what I'm using, I think. I don't even place, see a place where I could even start to aim towards. I'm not close enough. I'm not close enough. Where do I go? I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. I might have to look this up, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. I've got I gotta look it up. I, I have no choice. I have no idea what I'm doing. How to defeat Burning Hunter. What? Big yellow mushroom you've used before to skyrocket yourself up the smoke stacks. They're not yellow, they're blue. Are they yellow? Oh they are yellow. Supposedly, they're supposed to automatically be close enough for you to get onto them. Bullshit, they're close enough. They're nowhere near close enough. I've done this heaps of times and they're not close enough. There's nowhere to talk. What are you talking about? I... I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. There's got to be a glitch somewhere because I'm doing what it says. I'll watch a video. There's, there's no way I'm doing this wrong. I'm watching a video right now to see what I'm doing wrong. Because this is ridiculous. What? I... D That's exactly not what's happening. That is exactly not what is happening. That's dumb. This is a glitch. I'm, I'm going up the stuff and they are nowhere near. Maybe it's because I didn't go straight to them. I did mycelium bullshit first. Oh, for goodness sake, now it works? Of course now it works. That's so dumb. It glitched out and they weren't coming to see me. They didn't want to say hello. They got mad. There we go. There we go. That I was doing it right. It was just a little bit glitched out because I sp did something else instead of fighting the boss. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Thank God. Come here. You ain't so tough. 
You seemed like it when I couldn't get high enough. But ah, how? Well, that's the first time I've been killed by a boss in a long time. First one, I think, actually. No, uh, I probably, I probably haven't. I probably have been killed, and I just don't remember. Come here, buddy. I call you buddy, but you're no buddy of mine. You're an asshole. Come here. Show me your weak point. Show me your weak point. There it is. One more time. You flying motherfucker. It's growing weaker and more desperate. Whoops. I'll just ignore that one. That was a whoopsie on my part. Come here! Last chance. Last try. We got this. We got this. He's skating along his wings. Your days are numbered, buddy. Oh, god damn it! You know what happened there? I activated the the time slip too early. I would have had it. His days are still numbered. It was just one more than I thought. Here we go. Fuck! I tripped on his wings. They were a bit too raggedy and I tripped on them. Take care of your wings, better buddy. I know I've been the one fucking them up, but... It's no excuse. I'm being an ass, I know. Gotta get to your head now. God, got it. That was close. Oh no! Ow. He always lasers me on the way down. I see you. And I'm coming for you. We almost had you. Whoop. <laughs> you almost had us for a second there. We got it. Just need to not get caught. Oh, there we go! Last one! And with that, the star seed is charged. What do you have to say, Echo? Our final encounter? What say you? What say you, Echo? The last of the remnants are gone. It won't be long now. Before what? I don't know what's keeping you here. But nothing you say or do will stop me from activating the Starseed. Second. 
Wait a second. Those shards up the top. Reminder. Are these the few moments of lucidity we have between... in the loops? Is that our shattered planet behind us? speak with such passion but the fire in your eyes does not belong to you you belong to it consumed by my obsession all those remnants you kill did you ever wonder where they came from yes you didn't tell me though did they seem familiar a bit no they're abominations they had to die so my world could survive. It was the only way. Your grief has made you blind. I am asking you to let go. I can't do that! And around we go. Spiraling ever downward. Why are they familiar? I mean, I said a bit, because they're familiar to her. I don't know why they're familiar. Wait a second. I have a theory. Once we finish speaking to her, we'll... We'll, we'll test this theory. Critical systems offline. Damn it, Terminal Sid! Please try again later. No! This is my fault. I'm sorry I did this to you, but... I can't turn my back on everything I came here to protect. Our obsessions consumed us. Critical systems offline. Collapsing the Ultra Boy is no longer an option. And I won't shut down the Starseed. Not when we're this close. I had a chance to start over. To erase all of this suffering. I'd give anything for that. You'd create a paradox. You would create a paradox that would rip the universe in half. Not gonna happen. Critical systems offline. Terminal calculation loop. Please try again later. Stop! No, stop! Critical systems offline. Terminal calculation loop. Please try again later. Abort the calculations! Abort calculations! Silver user commands can only be run from the central starseed conduit. Critical systems offline. Fuck! Finished and how can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. So I go to the central starseed and maybe we can abort the calculations. Wait, that was testing. I have a theory. I'm not gonna like it if it's true. Okay. So that's... I, I'm looking at their helmet. I looked at their helmet to see... Do they look... Did they look like... Did the Void Runners look like they're... The remnants in this area? And they don't. So that's something. That's... That's something. They're not... Well, I'm not we're not fighting our friends. But I thought they were gonna pull... That's the twist I thought they were gonna pull. But they don't look familiar in that way. Thank God. Honestly, I got no idea what they mean by familiar. Dead. Systems offline. Terminal calculations. Super user. Abort calculations. Abort calculations. Abort calculations. Aborting. The star seat is fully functional. Well done. I'm sorry. Sid, you're back online. I'm so sorry. Why, yes, it appears we are. It feels as if we've been lost in thought. What happened? I... fucked you up. I don't have time to explain. You did explain! I'm so glad you're back. And I need your help. I need you to activate the star seed. Ray, our readings indicate energy signatures far greater. I know, Sid. And I know the dangers. We don't have time to predict every possible outcome. I'm ready to activate the starseed. Whatever the cost. Oh, this is gonna fuck shit up. 
This is gonna ruin everything. Very well, Ray. Beginning Starseed activation protocol. Strange. It appears a Void Runner has locked us out of the activation control system. We are unable to proceed. There has to be another way. There is a failsafe at the summit of the Starseed, which allows for manual override. But Ray, if you reach the top, it is statistically unlikely you will ever come back down. Sid, thank you. I don't know what will happen next, but I hope to see you on the other side. We must fight every circuit in our logic core to say this, but we believe we will see you again. Yeah. I know we'll see you again too. We're stuck in a loop. Engaging star seat maintenance rail. Good luck, Ray. We're stuck in a loop. And we're gonna see her again because we're gonna be going through over and over and over again. And yep, that's the planet's even bigger than before. It's taking up half the damn sky. It's over. There's no point in activating the star seed. But we're so obsessed. Stubborn. Can't stop ourselves. Doing it despite all evidence telling us it's a bad idea and that it's wrong and what's gonna fix it's not gonna fix anything. We're doing it anyway because we're stupid. We are so stupid. It's gonna kill us. Oh. No, it worked? No way it worked! No, it didn't. This can't be. You see it now, don't you? You finally see the truth. Bring them all back. Oh, you can't. I'm sorry, Ray, but you can't. You sound like me. You always do at the end. I'm pressing every other button. No, I have to. Do not draw this out. Show some mercy. I want to hurt you. Enough. Don't you get it? We were too late. We've always been too late. You. You knew? Our planet was already lost. But I couldn't face the truth. Thought I could use the star seat to change what had already come to pass. Oh my god. Echo isn't the Ultra Void. Echo is us. They're an echo of us.
game is about grief. Who are you? I'm a relic of the past. And you're the part of me that won't let me forget. Forever repeating our mistakes. We are two halves split by the star seed, eternally tessellating. But that means the star seed doesn't reverse time. It, it just repeats it. Over and over, our world is ripped apart. We've never had a choice. The clouds you dance on are the remains of our home. Oh. Oh, it's always been here. We were always too late. Oh. I'll start over. There has to be another way. There isn't! No, it's... Repeating it over and over is not gonna fix anything. It's just creating a paradox where you do the same thing is not gonna change anything. There's only one choice left to make. Accept the truth. Destroy the star seed. Let me go. We both know the only correct choice. It's not like this is all a lot. It's just her telling us a lie. It's like going, oh yeah, no. It's, yeah, yeah, definitely we've already failed. No, there's evidence all around this fucking world that we failed. That we're in a loop. And that we're just in denial and we're grieving. That we're not accepting the truth. That there's a, when knowing that knowing the truth, there's only one real choice to make. There's only one real option in this choice. You listen. Of course I did. Well, we're already dead. For once, I can't see past this moment. Fails. There's no saving them. All I did was prolong their suffering. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so. Whoa. Whoa. Were the remnants people who accepted? Pain is gone. What? Holy shit! I feel like I can breathe again. Oh, I look so cute! Oh, I look so cute! I'm Echo! Woohoo! Oh, I look adorable! Oh, this is the best skin. This is the absolute best skin. I look so good. You cannot send me to any back to any of the others. This is the best. This is the absolute coolest. Hey, Sid. Sid? 
I'm sorry. I destroyed it without your permission. I don't think you remembered everything, but I did. I hope you got your memories back so you can see. I couldn't. It's. How are you? Oh, we knew we would see you again. Not quite like this, though. You didn't think I'd look quite this hot. <laughs> but something is different. Your presence is activating long dormant memory cells. Because we broke the loop. Sid? Can you see me? It's been so... How long has it been? I wasn't sure I still existed. I never thought I'd talk to you again. Aww. We are remembering... Everything. Our arrival. The deaths of the Void Runners. The end of our planet. So much has been lost. And yet, we are still here. We believe we missed you. Oh. I missed you too, Sid. Now kiss. I'm kidding. <laughs> Even still, you are not complete. Does that make sense? Kinda. I don't have a suit. Ray, I... We destroyed the Starseed. And I'm so sorry. It's not over yet, is it? We gotta kill the remnant that I turned into. You better go see for yourself. You should go and see for yourself. This can't be good. became a monster just like every time before her and every time before if I activate the star seed I become a monster like that I realize my mistake become a monster but then restart but now I'm here outside of the cycle she ended the Starseed cycle, so you might have the chance to end another. She's still part of you, isn't she? Oh. But if I fight her... I spent lifetimes watching her become a twisted and cruel monster. Clutching at her version of the truth. She didn't know, but she does now. Doesn't matter anymore. I have to end this. Does she need to be destroyed? Yes. Perhaps there's another way. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Wait. Listen! Look at her. What do you see? A spear through the chest. A lot of plasma blood got flowing everywhere. An arm that's been removed. Turned into tentacles. She's angrier at herself than anything else. Her hate, her sorrow, her... My guilt. I see myself. Oof. We're the same, but she's beyond saving. I don't think that. You were two once. I don't have a choice. You always have a choice. I need to put her out of her misery. 
Why put someone out of their misery when you can pull them out? Exactly. Get that bloody spear out of her chest. Wretched Ray. No. If you die, I die. And I am not letting that happen. You die, I die. And so I can't let that happen. So I've got to pull you out. By the feet if I have to. Kicking and screaming. I know. Ah, not good enough. Damn it. This is actually hard. Well, I guess... I guess I did choose challenging. What I expect. the way. Oh fuck! That's... I got stuck on geometry! I'm not taking it down from challenging now. Damn it, I didn't know where that one was. I didn't see the button until last second. Ow. Let's try, let's try that again. Come on. Give me an opportunity, Ray. Let me in. Damn it. Let me in, Ray. Me. Damn it. Fuck, I got caught on geometry again. Oh god damn it, I forgot that one needed a boot it needed a grapple. It's really hard, I guess. Pulling yourself out of this shit. If it was easy, it wouldn't be worth doing. Oh god damn it, damn it! I did it too early. Oh fuck! This is so hard! I guess it's a final boss. Or an extra final boss. I thought we'd be fighting Echo. I didn't think we'd be fighting Wretched Ray. This is crazy. I didn't think we'd be fighting as Echo. Oh damn it! Get, 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 get. There we go. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, I should have. Ah, oh, I should have done the slip, time slip, and I didn't. Damn it! Making the same mistakes over and over now. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on. The timing on this is so tiny. Yeah, this is definitely way harder than... Like, this is the, the first time a boss has given me an actual problem. Like, it's all just been hard. I had made mistakes. I fucked it up. Nah, this one's a problem. This one is... I am actually... Might not be good enough. In fact, currently, I'm not.
Oh, oh what? Be right about this, Sid. Get it out! We did it! I pulled out a spike. Does that feel better? Well, probably not. That probably hurt a shit ton. But it's worth doing. It needs to be done, Ray. Ow. I didn't see the second one. It needs to be done. We can't heal if we don't face the things that hurt. I know it hurts, but we need to do it anyway. We can't just stick our head in the sand. Oh no, I'm stuck in geometry again. Shit. You know it's true. You don't want it to be, but you know. Oh, I bet you do. Did I do it? Nope. Fuck, it was close. It made the sound, I hit it, but I was time was already over. You need to face the truth. It's gonna consume you. And it will keep consuming you until you face it. God damn it! Turning you into a monster who hurts everything and everyone around you. Including yourself. Even at the end of the universe, at the end of the planet, it still is necessary for us to be at peace. Don't you understand that, Ray? To be done. The cycle must end. Oh, there was two. There was two. That's why. That's why I failed. I did wonder why it did, why it made the hit, but it didn't. Yeah, there were two. That makes sense. That checks out. Oh bugger! I double tapped the time slip and got out of it. Playing as Echo is so pretty. I wish I could do this for more of the game. This is so. This is such a good thing to wear in the final boss. Oh my god! I love it. Fuck! Not fast enough. I think jumping slowing me down. Let's try not jumping so much. Just letting the curves skate along. Skate along the natural, like, ups and downs and utilize those. Damn it. Too late. Too late again. Fuck. We're gonna keep doing this, Ray. Over and over until you finally see. Until you finally let me in. We got it! I don't know why, but you helped me. I know you're still in there. And we can still reform back together stronger than ever. This is worth it. You know it. I know it. I won't kill you. I'm going to set you free! Oh. Wow, that one was... I don't know how I'm gonna get that one. That one was wonky. No. If I die, it hurts us both. You don't want to see it, but I do. Oops. Oh, fuck. I got stuck on the corner. Oh, whoops. I went straight past that one. 
also think I have a larger slash. The slash is goes further than I think it does. I think this bomb gives me a larger slash radius. Oh, come on. I, 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 that corner. That corner's gotten me so many times. Well, so many twice. It's gotten me twice now. But not again. This is it. Here we go. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's game. Fuck! I was jumping too much and I was waiting to come back down because I knew that I needed to dash. Come on, Ray. Let me in. We're gonna do this as many times as it takes. Well, uh, my controller disconnected. I hit the button and it just didn't, um, it didn't hit. It's lagging because my controller is disconnecting and reconnecting super fast. But now it's good. Come on! Ah! How do I get to that one? That one's so far away and the freaking thing's so tiny. How? Come on, come on. We just gotta get that last one. Oh, I missed. I missed. I was already ahead of it when I hit when I hit the hit thing. When I hit the hit button, I was already behind it. Oh god damn it! Caught on the ledge again. Cause I didn't dash. I can't get over how cute we look. It's mostly the hair, but it's still so cute. It's so cute. Get me hair like that. Fucking! Why did I go off the ledge so slow? Come on, let me in. You know it's good for you, girl. This is your therapy. Girls are going to therapy. Fucking! It happened again. Why is that keep happening? Like three times in a row. I freaking. Come on. Wait, where is it? Fucking, fucking, right there! God damn it! That was the one that was failing on before. I couldn't find it. For some reason, the last time I just flung off the edge like that. I got it. I got it. I got it. Just this one. Come on. No. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, we got it. Here. And we're not alone. Sid's here as well. Listen to me. You don't have to hurt all the time. We can't go back and change the past. We can only move forward. We have to pick up the pieces and fix what's left. Hell yeah. Burden, but we can carry it together. Yes. Hell Ray, yeah. 
Yes. Ray. <gasps> Ray. Hello. You've managed to end the cycle. I did. Time moves on. The Ultra Void is stable now. But there's so much work to be done. So much to rebuild. Our heart aches for the loss of those we all fear. So we were the ones keeping them all in the cycle. None of us can return to it. But what's left here is not without potential. Aww. This could be a place to start something. No. But I will be. I think I will be. Yeah! <laughs> Even at the end, she still says exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, I loved that game. Oh, hell yes. That was beautiful. The game about grief, loss, guilt, accepting the burden, and moving on to something new. Growing, learning, from the pain, not letting it consume you, become an obsession. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a twist! Yeah, Ray and Echo were obviously the same voice actor. I didn't see it until the end. Until the very end, it it uh, they sounded like different characters. That twist at the end was like, no, Echo isn't the super voice. Darb, is that you? Dob survived! <laughs> the old dude died, but Dob. Oh, the old girl survived. They were just hanging around somewhere. Diving out of the clouds. I can't- Echo not being the Super Void. The Ultra Void. Echo not being the Ultra Void and instead being us? The other half of us? The one that knew the truth? Rather than the one that was hiding from it and pretending it wasn't real? One that wouldn't accept reality and was just going through the cycle. That was such a twist. I've a finished every task, followed every path in the Ultra Void, 100% complete. Suit unlocked, absolution. Oh come on, you you gotta let me see it. You load load it in. I got I gotta see what this suit looks like. Come on, you gotta show me. Is there me. something we can do to help? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, hell yeah! How can we help you? See you around, Sid. Hell yeah! Oh, there's like stars up my arms. Oh, it's the beautiful, like, white hair. Oh, it's. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is the best suit. I thought the original was the best suit. No, 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 no. This one's the best suit. You cannot tell me otherwise. Is there something we can do to help? I don't think anyone made it. I found Gozam. I can't believe he's gone. It doesn't seem real. I always knew that no matter what happened, Zam would be there to fix it. He was the best of us. He was a natural leader. If he didn't make it, he must have died trying to protect the other Void Runners. I just don't get it. Everyone did their job. All the conduits were set up. How could they have died before I found them? We wish we could tell you, Ray. But despite all your efforts, 
We have not restored a coherent timeline of what happened after landing. That means it's really up to me to finish this thing. There's no one to save us if I fail. I feel so alone. We believe you are more capable than you know, Ray. Thanks, Sid. And who locked you out and overloaded the star seat? Your guess is as good as mine. Hmm. It was Tuft. Could Tufty be behind the sabotage? If anyone could have hacked into our systems and overpowered the Starseed, it's our creator. She knew our framework like the back of her radiometer. That is to say, she knew us well. I'm sorry, Sid. If she did it, she must have had a good reason. A damn good reason. They realized the time loop problem, and they realized uh, that they were too late anyway. Yes, we agree. She would not have come all this way just to sabotage the mission. She was always thinking one step ahead. Whatever she did, we believe it must have been for a good reason. You miss her. Me too. So do I. Hmm. Oh, well, we can ask about the others. Think Gozam locked you out? Overpowered the starseed? Gozam was clever, decisive, an impeccable strategist. He certainly was capable of it. But you don't think he did it, do you? We cannot see him acting with malice. Perhaps he attempted to change the plan, but we wouldn't let him proceed? That would give him cause to override our functionality. Perhaps that explains our loss of memory as well. Sounds possible, but it doesn't explain everything. True. Hmm. It was Tuft and Pyatt. Sid, is it possible that Irving locked you out of the Starseed? Did have our differences. He was always suspicious of Void Tech. And, well, suspicious of us, too. I can see that. He loved to say, never send a robot to do a man's job. <laughs> we didn't appreciate that. Yeah, I don't think you're, I would have either. It's not great. Once, he remarked that synthetic intelligence is, how did he put it? Real smart at killing but dumb as hell when people need saving. In the end, it's always up to us folk to pick up the pieces. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sid. That wasn't kind. We do believe he meant well. Despite his flaws, he was a good man. Hmm. Yeah. So do you think Verse was the one who locked you out? Verse was quite angry when we departed our planet for the Ultra Boy. We do believe he said that our people deserved this. That a civilization that won't save itself doesn't deserve to be saved at all. Huh. We were all upset. Yes. Gozam used to say that Versus' head was hotter than a solar flare. <laughs> I can say I know a few people like that. But he lived up to his own ideals. He believed in action and was the first of us to volunteer to enter the Ultra Void. Yeah, that's Verse. We used to fight over who would hot drop out of the ship first. He always won. <laughs> Do you recall the time he activated his boosters in the cargo hold? We're lucky he didn't set off our entire load of photon charges. He didn't always think things through. He was impulsive, indeed. Perhaps impulsive enough to overload the starseed. Hmm. I just... Reminiscing. We're reminiscing about the people we lost. That's all this is. Pyatt. It had to be Pyatt, right? Yep. Pyatt and Tuft. Pyatt believed the Starsea was a holy vessel sent to us by the Divine, destined to save our people. Yada yada yada, dude's a fucking idiot. Truly, we do not know what inspired this unusual interpretation. The Starseed is a wonder of science. We have never detected any signs of communication with extraplanar alien entities. That's one way to put it. Maybe he believed overpowering the Starseed was a holy act of some kind. Sounds quite plausible. Hmm. <laughs> it was Pyatt and Tuff. Whatever probably. the plan was, it obviously didn't work. The more we learn, the less sense any of it makes. Oh, what happened at the Mirror Sea? Do you remember what happened in the Mirror Sea before you went offline? 
We are still putting the memories together. But we remember something. We recall Gozen setting up our conduit. He gave a hearty laugh and tried to slap us on the back. He pointed to a nearby tower and said, I'll be up there if you need me. I gotta try to contact the team. I love those little those little impressions he does. They're great. He looked after us like we were his family. And now he's gone. I'm going to finish what he started, Sid. We know you will, Ray. Do you need anything else? I gotta hear all the dialogue options. Even the even once the game's finished, if there's a tiny little bit of extra dialogue that I missed, I gotta hear it. What's the last thing you remember? Tufty was arguing with someone about the star seed. Quiet. Quiet was singing. Power readings were fluctuating. These parts of our memory are fragmented and distorted. Oh, me. Like they were being channeled through a prism. Sorry, Ray. We cannot bring ourselves to remember. They were probably arguing with me, to be honest. It's okay. It's it's okay. I'm going to finish the mission. For Tufty. We've always got time for our favorite Void Runner. <laughs> Actually, I need something else. See ya, Sid. Well, that's it. A hundred percent completed. We did everything there was to do, and we got the best suit. Too bad we can't use it because we've beaten the game. Unless we start a new game and like play it on hardcore. But I don't know if we'd even be able to use the suit at that point. Ah, oh, this game. This game was damn good. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.